Yo. Yo ho, we're here, folks. We got a bartender mobile on demand. What do you got for us today, Fatty? I mean, we were talking day drink feels like a boulevardia. I like a, I like a Manhattan at night. What do you think? Sounds good to me. Well, well, Campari makes it feel like more of a day drink. Yes, it's a little lighter. We got the nice giant cube balls there. Cube ball doesn't make sense. It's an ice orb sphere. I don't fucking know. Anal bead. Who knows? <laughs> They all come out the same color. Great old David Tilbit. Yeah, I, I, his best one uh, about the anal beads. That's how you know he's a great comic. He's got a uh, a genre of anal beads jokes. <laughs> the whole section. Uh, <laughs> my favorite thing to yell when I take him out is uh, the winning Powerball numbers are. Ah, fucking to tell. Oh, that's Love great. It. The king. The king. So I well, won't see another special from him uh, for fifteen years. <laughs> if we're lucky, but yeah. All right, what do you got? One part Campari, one part com- uh, Bodega Vermouth? Cat, and yeah, and one part Bodega Cat. It's, it's like a Negroni, but with whiskey instead of the uh, gin, you know? Aha. Uh-huh. Okay. Wait, a uh, Negroni's gin? Are you serious? Oh. Uh, you know how many Negronis we've drank together? I didn't know it was gin. What do you think we're drinking? Oh, uh, I feel like I hooked up with a man. <laughs> the whole time. I've been duped. That's gin? I thought it was whiskey. I can't tell if you're fucking with me. Negroni? Yes. Negroni, please. You didn't know that? Oh, I had no idea. Damn. I can't believe you didn't know that shit. Man. What do they call a fake Negroni? Uh, like a mocktail. No phony. Really? Oh, yeah. Damn. I might have made that up. That's not, that's not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> phony Negroni. That's what it is. That sounds like a what you call a wigger. <laughs> uh, from the peanut gallery, we had Wigroni over there. What? Peter, Wigroni. We had that from Peter's over there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, Vanilla Ice, you're a phony Negroni. <laughs> phony, phony, groany. All right. All right. Eddie Money. <laughs> <laughs> What's new, man? I mean, we hung out yesterday. Oh, yeah. That was well, fun. What was yesterday? We did All You Garbage. Oh, that's right. Yeah, always a fun. That that. You got to go to that studio, Peters. You're going to shit blood. It's just... They got a waiting room with couches. I think we got a good studio. We got a great studio, but they own a floor, basically. Yeah, well, they're paying way more than we are, I bet. That's true, but we get sandwiches. I just ate a sandwich. It was damn fucking good. Now you're talking. All right, yeah, that's too hot out there. The heat in this town. It's brutal, me. and my AC is like, the guy came by, and he's like, it's working. I'm like, no, it's cold, but it's just there's no pressure. He's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, well, you need the fucking pressure. You need the pressure. I got the fans going. It's oh, brutal. yeah. I know. I'm in my own home sweating my tits off. I've taken two showers today. It's a nightmare. I feel like Sydney Portier in the heat of the night. I'm like, what is this, Mississippi? This is brutal. <laughs> We're doing too many black references out of the gate. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is offensive. What's it? What's the other one? Guess who's coming to dinner? Yeah, that's that's like the woke pandering one. Uh-huh. It was like the Hollywood pat themselves on the back one. Right. In the heat of the night's way cooler. Okay. Same year. Wow. He did two. He was both were nominated for best picture. Well, he won the Oscar in uh, coming to dinner. I think. I did he? Might have. Yeah, he won for one. Of, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Also, Bonnie and Clyde, The Graduate, and I think Doctor Doolittle that year because there's a great book on it called Pictures at a Revolution. Wow, what a year! Crazy year. Doctor Doolittle was supposed to be a piece of trash. Well, guess Wait, who's coming to the pod that? today? Richard, Ooh, our Jim buddy Ian hey, Ian Laura is here. Hey, there we go. Come on. I'm making. We're making drinks here. Speaking Thanks of the cronies. Great to see. Hey. You. <laughs> hey. hey. Happy What's, to be back. Good happy to have, have you back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ian, no finance. <laughs> we had another guest, but he, he apparently bailed. So he bailed? we want to do yeah. a two-part. We want to do a two-person show, but oh, all right, it's, it's gonna be even, great with this even you. better. You just took my shine. It's, yes, it's <laughs> got, all you. This is great, Sam. I've, I've been seeing this all over. Congrats. You oh. see, people are talking about it. He's worried because it's not on the home page. Oh no, I oh, think this is. Me. I think this is better. I really? Th- yeah, I mean. Like it's all like it's all over the things. I've Cheers, seen by the things. way. Hey, hey. A little Boulevardier. There we go. Cheers, Let's Mazel drink to Sam's special. special. Hey, right. you've changed. I was literally on video, I, not on the homepage. <laughs> we'll get it there. <laughs> Give it a search. I was uh I was getting a haircut and I was gonna I was like planning to go home and watch it and then you hit me up. I was like, oh yeah, I'll come through. Oh, no. oh, hey, hey. yeah, I'm a fan. I still watch the things. Really? He watches yeah. comedy. Yeah, Joe List always makes fun of me because I like watch comedy. 
I, I'm, I'm the same way. I'll check in. Yeah, you see too. The new yeah. Gaffigan, see the new yeah. Pagazzi. I watch a little, but it, I, I just, I'm scared I'm going to, it's going to come into my head, one of the premises. It does happen. Yeah, that yeah, does I happen. I know. It worries me. But so. the, yeah. the flip side of that is, what if you're doing a bit and he's got it from two years ago and you work yes. your tail on it right. and then you you didn't realize he had it the whole time. Right. That's yeah. going to happen regardless. Of yeah. Course, right? I guess Because so. Jimmy Carr said that happened with you. Where he, he did a bit that you did. That's right. And uh, he called me and said, how do you feel about it? And I go, you can put it out, but mine's already out, so you're going to get shit. And he was like, I'll deal with it. And he put it out? He put it out. Yeah. I mean, I've seen, there's stuff where I've seen, like, Rock and Louie have, like, a similar mm-hmm. thing. And I'm like, they're close friends that watch each other's hours. black people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ballsy out of your mouth. Uh, he did say the N-word quite a bit. Yeah, he yeah. used to. There was a time, I remember when I started comedy, where every white comic needed an N-word bit because of yeah. Louie. That was like the time. Not me. But, <laughs> I, was like, I, don't, I don't know about that. I had a couple. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the difference, like you said, I think sometimes with the urban comics, like they'll kn- they won't watch comedy at all. Yeah. And then like they'll literally be doing bits that I'm like, oh, that's on this. Yes. Sometimes. Yes. Too. But if they're not seeing it, but they're like, I didn't see it. I'm like, yeah, you know, but it's out there. And they tend to not give a shit. You're like, I think uh, Jeff Ross does that bit. And they're like. I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah. I have that bit too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then they'll go, he stole it from me. I'm like, he did it in 91. They're like, ah, fuck him. Yeah, I remember one time, like, when I was starting off, I told, like, a comic that a famous comic had his joke in this special, and, like, he was like an open mic, and he was like, yeah, he stole it from me. <laughs> People I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, I did it at like Caroline's. <laughs> I yeah. that too. <laughs> he must have saw me. This is like a main, this is like, it was D.L. Hughley. It was like a huge comic. And he's right. Like, yeah, he stole it from me. Uh, people he's, always he's, peeking, he's peeking behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 People say, oh, that Bill Maher's monologue. He did a bit I used to do. And you're like, he didn't see but you. But the do monologue's it. different because they have a whole writing stat. Yes. They, so they yeah. could have seen you do yeah. it. Yeah. True. Yeah, the monologue is. SNL different. gets shit for that where they're just like, because, you know, the way we're worried, I mean, they they have that pressure cooker where it's like, fuck, I got five days to right, write this. Right, right. So maybe they'll like, oh, panic and they're like, oh, fuck, this is it. Because I remember I thought of a bit once and it turned out to be an SNL sketch. It was the other way around. I remember that bit. But I, and I was like, it felt like a very me bit. Great bit. Like, the angle was like. Uh, Halloween? Halloween, yeah. Like, th- like that's the best day for a registered sex offender to knock on your door and be like, I'm new to the neighborhood. I'm a registered sex offender because you could pretend it's like a costume. Yes. And they did. <laughs> and they did that as a sketch. And I was like, oh, fuck. So I, I immediately dropped it. But it's like, but it happens both ways. You know? Yeah. Sure. You ever had a bit where you were like, but I really came up with this. Yes. Yeah. Yes, of course. Like, I know they have some similar, but I came up with this. Like, I yeah. really wrote this. I never seen them do it. That's yeah. why it's so hard to drop it. Because you're like, yeah. no, I, this but has this come is out like, of my head. Here, yeah. That sucks. I feel like a lot of comics are like, I'll just write a new bit. I'm like, yeah, but it's not. It's, just, not, easy. it's not easy. That's like saying I'll just have another kid. <laughs> you're like, yeah, but I'm losing a kid. <laughs> yeah. I heard Louis say that yes. once. On, just write another bit. <laughs> I heard That's Louis a good point. say that on ONA once where he was talking about how Dennis Leary just took his I'm an asshole. Yes. He, like, I'm an asshole. That song was like a Louis bit. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, he took it from me. But I was like, whatever. I'll, yeah, he said that. I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll write a new bit. And I was like, man, Louis was on fire at that point. I know. Yeah. That attitude to just be like, yeah, I'll write a new fucking. Well, writing a new bit doesn't just mean writing. You got to come up with a premise. Out sure. Of the air. So it's not, it's not that easy. And a bit is like. You know, there's a thing of like, I wrote it, I enjoy doing it, I'm yeah. not tired of it yeah, yet. Like, yeah. once I'm tired of it, yeah, I'll write a new one. But if you're not tired of it yet, you're like, you ever be in an act and you're like, I just want to do this bit. Like, wait yes. till I, and then you have to drop that one. <laughs> you're I like, know. Yeah. I always wonder, because I'll, I'm not going to name any names, but I'll go to the cellar and I'll see four comics in a row do Trump. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, oh, man, that would, that would suck. Because we don't, I don't really do impressions. But imagine yeah. the guy before you did an impression you're about to do and the guy before him did one. Yeah, it's probably going to get worse, too, right? Yeah. She's got to not book four impressionists back to back. That's, that's I, on uh, her, too. I guess you're right. But Trump is so popular on it's just that You look at the lineup, you're like, Ari Spears followed by fucking, you know. Uh, yeah, Daryl Hammond. Yeah. <laughs> you're on a subway, and like a uh, homeless guy walks through asking everybody for money, and then he closes the door, and then the door opens on the other side, and another guy comes yes. through. Yes. Same I, thing. I used to have a bit about that, about how like the last one, like the first one came in and was doing like a song and dance, and this yeah. guy just asked for money. I'm like, oh, you got to step up your game, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that guy fucking brought it. Do a Trump impression <laughs> or something. Yeah. Yeah. But and, uh, the thing is that the seller, like, because it is the seller, like a lot of them are like, pretty good oh, impressions. yeah they're so great it's like 
it's not like one is so much better than the other. They're all like, oh, yeah, this is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. and it's still better than the crowd work guys who go up after each other and they ask the same questions. <laughs> oh, yeah. that I'm so embarrassed <laughs> when comics do that. They're watching them like, did he talk to this table? Look, I talked to all of them. They're like, fuck. Yeah, I was going to ask them if that was his daughter or his wife. Oh. Yeah. How do you feel like before you go up, someone's like, oh, this is a girl with big boobs up there. You want to talk about her? Does that ever happen? I don't care. Yeah, it happens to me. I'm like, I don't they care. They meant after the show. They didn't <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm always like, I don't care. I, yeah. They're like, oh, yeah, the couple in the front, they just met. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yes. Fuck. I haven't yes. asked. I don't I get know. The, he's from <laughs> Australia. I'm like, I don't give a shit. By the way, we're just talking about Will right now. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel like this is what Will does? Yeah, well, if you have an act, Will, <laughs> you can really do some jokes. Uh, there was a time I was like, I was... I've been at this other way. I'm like, it would be kind of nice if they just banned crowd work. Oh, <laughs> man. I, I don't like to do it. I don't like to do it in the city. Like, sometimes it happens, like, naturally. In the sure. sure. Follow the seller. Sure. But, like, I don't like the guy after me having to follow it. You know, it's like, because when I'm on the road, I'm headlining. I'm like, it's my show. I'm doing an hour 10 or so. So, I'm like, I'll just fucking I'll of course. have some yeah. fun. You on know? the road, of course. But, but yeah, in, the, in 15 minutes, I'm like, oh, I'm here to work on shit. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I was at I was at the cellar once with uh with Jimmy with Fallon. He like they he he was watch he just wanted to watch comedy. Like he wow. just was like, I, I wanna get back into I wanna watch comedy and we were all sitting in the back and at the VU and we watched like the first like three comics and they all did crowd work. It was like the host mm. and he was like, What is this? And Michael was like, This is like kind of comedy now. Yes. <laughs> That'd be so funny if that just influences monologue the next night. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah. look at this bitch in the front <laughs> row. <laughs> yeah. He's like, Oh, I kinda wanted to see bits and stuff, but yeah. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, he's old school. I mean, he's like, uh, I mean, he came out an era. Where I, I mean, crowd work when I started at least was like almost like unique to New York. I guess yeah. there was some LA mm. guys, but like you, hosts on the road would never do crowd work. They would True. do their ten minutes, right? They do yeah. their ten minutes of material trying to build an act. Yeah. I guess you know the hosts were veterans in New York, and the hosts on the road, right. were were newer. Newer, yeah. It was weirder back then. I remember being on the road and you'd be in the green room and you heard the host go into the crowd. You're like, what? What's going on? And you would yeah. put your ear to the door like, is everything all right? Yeah. Because it was like a strange moment to do yeah. crowd work. Now I, it's go to. Yeah, I feel like people have a weird freedom to it where I'm like, this isn't even good. Like, how are you this free? Like, because crowd work, there is a thing of like, you don't know where it's going to end, yes. right? There's no punch on So I'm like, how are you this open to finding something and find I, nothing consistently? Yes. Yeah. And then they'll keep asking, waiting for some <laughs> yeah. crazy thing. Yeah. Like, what do you do? Oh, you don't work on a circus all right accounting okay what do you do oh you're, you're with your wife god damn it they're just waiting for some crazy answer i'm like this is not what it is yeah it's, yeah it's tough man and and you want to build the act there i mean yeah i i'm, I'm at a loss they say it. it's the bubble is bursting but yeah they, the fuck they, does. yeah that's what I, 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 I made it a point to like put not uh any crowd work in the special there's one moment i couldn't delete just because a woman booed me that was a great moment i had to keep that in because i thought it was like such a perfect fucking moment yeah but I didn't like. I did. Go, I went to the crowd just to fuck around because I was like, oh, I did four shows. I'll get some extras, you right? Know? Right. Behind the scenes shit for Punch Up or something like that. You should be following us all on Punch Up Live, by the way. Are you on there? No. no. Uh, get on yeah. there. Is, good. Good for movies. Is it a new thing? Because I said I wanted to be like first on the next new thing. <laughs> it kind is. Of. Yeah. It's Punch Up Live slash Mark Norman or Punch Up Live slash Sam Morel. Get on. Our it. name slash sign up if you want to make it easy. But dude, it's uh, it's it. you would build a mailing list. You put exclusive content on there. You know, Instagram, certain stuff is like too offensive. They'll bury it. Yeah, yeah. You can put whatever you want on here. It's like nice that it's a like a kind of a free speech thing that's not run by wackos. Okay. So, uh, and it's uh, it's just good to build up a base, and you just can blast them whenever you. Not too much, you know. I'm like, yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna spam them, but like when you got a special out or you come into their city, it can do the geolocated thing. So oh, oh, that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, it's worth it. That's and the mailing list is yours. He doesn't keep it. If you want to take it with you when you leave, oh really? You take it with you. Oh, that's great. That's great. Mailing list is good. It's back because it's back, baby. I think it's it was good. the thing before. Right? Yeah, it helps you know where the people are, who your friends are exactly, where they live. You know what they're watching, what they're not watching. Yeah, you get all the uh, analytics. I just met, felt like I. You, anyone can do. If you're a funny comic, you should be able to be good at crowd work. I think if you're a funny person, I agree. Yeah. So the, I think the hour, if you can just put out joke, 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 like that's I think the thing. Now, uh, well, how many? Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Go. Ahead. How many crowd work moments are you know? You remember the the Chris Rock Black Wheel vs N words? You remember the uh, Louis C K Bank joke or whatever? How many people are quoting when you ask that guy where you got a shirt? Yeah, I mean, you look at somebody like 
like right now when i watch this crowd work i'm like this is like pretty good like it's well produced like it's yeah. i'm like i don't really see you got, got the ted talk yeah right yeah now. i'm like it's like a perfect interaction <laughs> he needs, he needs both hands <laughs> they, yeah. they got a wild story yeah. it just yeah. called i'm like you don't generally see it like that no it's no never no. like that yeah he's kicked it up a notch yeah he's he's the but yeah like you said um, it's usually the bits. I've never had like a crowd work clip go viral. All of my clips ever went viral was bits. Really? Yeah. I've had crowd work go viral. Yeah. I've had a couple yeah. crazy moments. So it's like, yeah. I just, oh, yeah, I just always have people there. So every once in a while, yeah. the moment's so crazy. And if you have the right comebacks and lines. Right. Was, yeah. Yeah. It's got, it's so, got to be a crazy moment though. It's got to be crazy. Speaking of, uh, oh, baby. Audience crazy. attacks. Yeah. We got three New Yorkers here. Yeah, we got We got to play this clip. Speaking of crazy punchlines, uh, <laughs> I was you were tapped. randomly punched. I was one of those people just gets punched on the street. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some guy just uh, on my on my block turned uh, the corner. On, yeah, okay. on, you don't have to say. Yeah, let's cut that out. Let's believe. Okay, uh, he turned the corner, and as soon as I t as I he turned the corner, I'm walking right into him towards him. He took like a plastic bag, like a. I don't know, from a convenience store, did like a whip around movement and threw it right in my face. And what's something was it, really heavy in it? Was it damn? Yeah, I, I would say like a can, can of soup at least. Whoa. Wow! Because wow. I had a, I a cut. I don't know if it's gone, but I went like this because it came right to my face. Oh yeah. man, that's I terrible. put up the defensive posture. Uh huh. And as soon as I pulled my hand, you, you were able to block it. Yeah, yeah. I was as close as I am to Ian, or even closer. Wow. Uh, and as soon as I come down from my defensive stance. Overhand right, right Ooh, to my cheek. Boom. This what, what, what's the guy? Is he a big dude or what? He was fit. I'd say he's about Mark's size, maybe a little taller. Is but he like, fit like you. Hasidic Jew? <laughs> Asian? <laughs> well, when I showed the picture. I've actually had the video here if you want to see we it. We got the video. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, so How'd you got the video? I went to my building because it's my block. Oh. And I was like, hey, I was just attacked. I want to put up a picture on the building oh. so that we know who to look out for. They were like... Can't the guy's like, you. yeah, right. You want to play it on We Might Be. <laughs> <laughs> so the building said, can't help you without a warrant. I Come like, on. Yeah. So, so you got a warrant. No. So I went to the next building. Uh -huh. And I, I, I uh, appealed to their uh, superintendent. And he was like, I live in this neighborhood with my kids. You can have whatever you want. Just find the guy. Hand wow. to a gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see this. That's uh, scary, dude. And But you got him back. Oh, yeah. So... Oh, that's there him. he is! Oh wow! Yeah, that's this him. Great wow. footage. I was hoping he wasn't this. I think this is the alley. Yeah, he could have been special. any. Could have been any race. Yeah, <laughs> could have been any race. I would have preferred if he wasn't. That's right. <laughs> I, I showed it to my neighbor, and he was oh, like, damn. Oh, "That's the bag yeah. right to the face." There he is. Wow, damn. this guy's a real battle. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the reverse angle. So I'm in this little area where you can't see me. Okay. A Turn two cameras. Are, so you're gonna see the bag fly here. The bag deflecting off my face or my arms, and then. There goes the bag. Oh my and, god! And then he delivered a punch right there. And I take out a little pepper spray. Good for you to walk him down. And then Give him a little shot. Did he and then he's it? coming back. That wasn't enough. I got him again, really good there. Nice. That's crazy. Was he hurting there? Well, all he did was he turned to me and he was like, "I was expecting tears and yes, like, like the movies, like the movies." He was like, "All he did, he's like, you got me." He just pointed at me and said, "You got me." This is like. Ronnie, like Ronnie Chang ends a special on a bit like this, that this happens to him. Really? He's like, yeah, like some guy just, I think it was a girl. Now Sam and is going to do it too. <laughs> 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 it's like he just attacks him and then just walks off in this way. And I, I was like, that doesn't sound believable, but yeah. it happens. Yeah. It happens. Wow. That's crazy. He Damn, thought you were that's... Asian. <laughs> did you, and you went after him. Look at you. I know. He's yeah, walking he him down. Like, look yeah, at yeah. you. Did you get him again? No, I got him that two times. Was he in pain from the pepper spray? You got me. That's all he said. I thought this shit's supposed to hurt. I know, yeah, right? That's I know. Fair. I gave that to my wife. Well, the cops came after. The cops came I after. I gave it to your wife. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shh. Either way, she sprayed me with it. <laughs> and I told the cops, I was like, I was expecting tears. He was like, usually this affects people. He was going on adrenaline. It's probably affecting later. block away. Yeah. Yeah. It, isn't pepper spray illegal? Is that legal to have? Well, I'm glad you said that. So I told the cops, I was like, well, I pepper sprayed him. And they're like, do you want to go find him? I was like, yeah, I want to find him. And they're like, no, no, no. Do you want to do a drive along and we'll help you find him? I thought they meant like, do you want to get him? And so I was like, yeah. And he, the but what, is that, what does that mean? Just find, just be like, that's the guy and that's it? And then they would arrest him. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So then the guy, the cop pulled me aside and he was like, I have to tell you that he could press charges on you. Ooh. Really? Yeah, because you hit him with pepper spray. That's assault.
Oh, where's the white what, what, privilege? What, what, what he did. That's I also involved. saw. So we both pressed charges on each other, probably both dropped them. And I was like, I don't want my fate in the hands of a crazy man. Also, hitting a guy in the face is just a misdemeanor, right? If it's not a weapon, it's not. I guess so. Gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's not like they're going to keep you. No, he'd get out in an hour. This yeah. your first time attacked? You've been, you're a New Yorker, right? I mean, since high school, but yeah. I've been yeah. mugged in high school, but not as an adult. Who the fuck's going to attack this guy in a Hawaiian shirt? <laughs> What, what kind I, of monster do you have to be? Don't I look like an undercover cop? My shirt's a Serpico for <laughs> that, that face, he's shirt. asking for it. <laughs> look at that mug. It's a punchable mug. <laughs> <laughs> what a prick. I know. What, 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 what drugs do you think he was on? I think he was just crazy. Yeah. Mm. Just I, I think he was just crazy because I got to see the video of him walking on another block with their cameras and he's talking to himself, throwing his hands up in the air, doing this sort of thing. Oh, uh, okay. And I didn't see it because that fucking headphone. That's on. like the drugs you see now in the street, though. That's not like when I was growing up. The drugs yeah. now that people are like angry to themselves, like, oh, fuck. Yeah. That's got to be drugs. I see so many people like that walking through the street these yeah. days. Yeah. That was actually going to be one of my peeves. Like when you, <laughs> when you text me, I was literally experiencing a peeve. When you text me, I was like, I got it immediately because I was on the train. This is the second time it happened to me. I've been on a train and the, a person sits next to me and starts literally shooting heroin. Whoa. Like, like middle of the day. Like I've only seen it twice my whole life and it's both happened like on the train. Like I've just, seen wow. it outside the studio. I mean, just, wow. Just shooting, yeah. I've seen like, it too, right? right? I've seen it all over, yeah. But the train is so intimate. It's so, yeah, like next to me, like as wow. close as you are. that's crazy. As close as you are and you know, addiction, whatever, but it's crazy. I'm what? like, you know, don't do that. Can we go back to jerking it? <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. That's less awkward. <laughs> Come on, the other needle. Come on. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> I don't want to be controversial, but don't do heroin next to me on the train. Yeah. That is fucking crazy. Insane. Insane. But if you're going to do heroin, I would do it in the air-conditioned train. That is true. And I'm also one of these New Yorkers. Like, you always hear people talking about New York, and they're like, it's so dangerous. And I'm like, I'm out every night. Nothing happens. Same. Whatever. Mm -hmm. But then you see that and you're like, well, this is like a it's problem. Gross, yeah, yeah, this is a problem. It's almost like these heroin addicts aren't thinking about other people. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But yeah, we had like that... nostalgia for old New York, right? You grew up here? Yeah. Like we were like, oh, we love the 80s and 90s and the stuff we saw in the 70s and the movies. But it's like, do you really want it? Now it's no, back. You know what I was thinking, though? And this might sound ignorant. Oh, but, I but, can't wait. Well, yeah. but, you know, all these movies we love took place in New York. Yeah. It was grimy. Yeah. Taxi Driver, fucking Mean Streets, all those, like, you know, taking a Pelham 1, 2, 3, like, all those classic French movies. French Connection. It's a good one. Great so, one. All those movies took place, and you're like, maybe we're going to get some good art out of this, you know? Oh, yeah. Comedy's the best it's been ever. Look at this special. Yeah. Comedy's popping. Yeah, well. Yeah. It's interesting yeah, that to me. Homepage. <laughs> <laughs> that good. damn Amazon homepage. Good luck. Because I feel like people talk, like, if you you let some people talk, especially when it, they get political, it's always like, it's, things are so bad right now. And I'm like, they're not that bad. Like, yeah, it, it was worse. worse. It yeah. was a lot worse. But I get, you know. It things, feels worse because it's social media. Because of social media. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because totally. people are more like. I think it, you used to keep your politics to yourself. Yeah. And now, like, people, like, there's, like, the he slash him people, and then there's, like, MAGA 2024, you know? Like, it's, like, yeah. it's like they leave with that. <laughs> yeah, yes. And it, and you go to some of these small towns. Like, I remember playing, like, Appleton, Wisconsin, and they were good crowds, but they, I feel like they were shocked at the shit I was saying because they were like, oh, we just keep this to ourselves. Oh, yeah. You know, they're, like, sick. wholesome. They're, yeah, It's, yeah, like, yeah. a wholesome. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like, like those. At a place in time. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I, I won't say the city I was in, but I was on the road, and I I had the the waitress, the, the green room waitress, the sweetest, like the sweetest, most kindest person the whole weekend. And on the last day of the of the um of the weekend, like the manager comes in and he's like, uh for summer he just drops like, Oh, you you haven't heard her political views yet. And then like she walks in like like when he's saying that and just starts spewing like QAnon, like, really the craziest stuff and i'm like oh wow i would have never guessed she's like the sweetest kind of uh, person and then she starts <laughs> like the, you know the president is an alien uh, going down the thing it is funny because you never know who it's gonna be i know yeah. and it's yeah. usually sweet by my buddy's mom is QAnon, and she she comes in with cookies she's got the apron on she's <laughs> yeah, the nicest yeah, the lady on the planet they, they bring in yeah. brownies they're like here you go in the juice code christ yeah. 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 yeah yeah i'm sure there was nice nazis you know there's one guy brought, one guy brought in donuts you know he was nice to the other nazis yeah. but you know. he holds the door he's a gentleman yeah. he asks about he asks about the other person right. yeah. make sure to ask polite questions he's like look we got to you know annihilate the jews but yeah. well, it doesn't mean we can't be civil yes polite <laughs> i worked with a comic once with his uh his 
he's actually getting a divorce. He was telling me because his wife had gone Q and on, mm. and he was he was like a right wing guy, but he was like she was too yeah too she much too she, far yeah she was too far, and it just couldn't work anymore. Like he's like she'd come home, he'd come home, and she's like on YouTube, like you gotta watch this. <laughs> it's crazy. It's- well, you go back around, like it's like a globe. At a yeah. certain point, you meet like the far right and the far left just meet. They just it's meet a horseshoe. Yeah. They just meet. Yeah, they're both. Yeah, they just both go like like crazy. It, yeah, they're both extremists, and they end up they're like, oh, you hate Joe Biden. So do I. And now, yeah. now we're now we're in in on that. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. It's funny though when you step back and you're like, but how do we get here? The QAnon people, as as psycho as they are, they're fucking entertaining. Oh, they're great. I I could just like just go like yeah. uh, pl- flat earthers. That's fucking fascinating. You yeah. really think the Earth is flat? Tell me everything. Not only do they think the Earth is flat, they think you're a complete asshole. Yeah, for not yes. thinking it's flat. <laughs> right, right. It's one thing to have your opinion about one thing, but to think that the rest of the world is just complete idiots. I know. They call us roundies or something. That's like a slur for us. Well, do you see that clip? Those clips of Terrence Howard. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. And, and he spoke with such confidence. Such I was confidence. like, man, this guy must be fucking on or something. And then you listen to what he's saying. I'm like. Either I'm fucking retarded, yeah, <laughs> or this guy's retarded and yeah. just really confident. Yeah, yeah he's well, charming. When the first episode came out, a couple of my boys kind of sent it to me, and they were kind of sending to me like, "Yeah, like I knew it." Like, cause I, I guess, <laughs> I guess it's cool to think that everyone else, that you're not the dumb one, that everyone else is dumb, and you've been right all along, right. and that kind of confirms it. Like yes. all this other stuff's been wrong. I'm right. Yeah, and I'm like. I don't know much about this. Like, I really don't know what he's talking about, but I'm not going to side on a actor's thing when there's, like, scientists who dedicate their entire life to this. Right. Yeah, yeah. And I'm an asshole for, like, believing scientists. Like, even though if they may be lying, I still, I'm going to side with them. Yeah, over Terrence Howard. Yeah, with disrespect. Yeah. Fine actor. Very right. good. Great actor. Hustle. Great. And he's a great guy. Like, in the interview, he's like a, charming guy yeah he's, he's a cool actor. dude he's like a nice dude i know they're they're charmers man yeah did you watch the the follow-up episode no that no was, that was pretty they good. did too i heard the guy yeah. i heard he got destroyed pretty he good got destroyed pretty good because yeah. they but brought a real they, doctor on or yeah scientist. scientist he was good he was so <laughs> nice though he was like really nice about it and polite it wasn't like a thing where they were like yelling back and forth at like the end of billy madison where the guy's like we're uh we're all dumber for having listened to <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> but yeah it caught on the terrence howard like it they had to have him on. back on immediately because it, it was a huge thing that's the rise of podcast it is someone's just charming they can yeah. go for three hours and you're like okay now i want to hear what he says next yeah now all of a sudden you're like fuck now i'm one of them you know? yeah. yeah, well, Cat Williams on Shay Shay. I mean, it he was entertaining. changed the game. It was, was so captivating. He was game. awesome, yeah. though. Yeah. You, I think, got seventy million views. When he was, like he was like, I read four thousand books by the time I was seven. I'm like, that's not possible. <laughs> but I'm, I'm still hanging on his every word. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. of course. He's got thirteen kids. I googled he had ten. Why, why, why you add the three? Now, do you think like you guys have a popular podcast? Do you think if you bring somebody on, is it your job to be like, hey? This isn't sound true, or you, you just no. Let them go. Talk. Let them talk. Go. No, yeah. I don't, let yeah. them tear us out. I mean, if yeah, I don't think we have like the most provocative guests either. Yeah, yeah. If we know you, we're like you know. If we had anyone that said shit, shit where we're like, I don't yeah. think so. Alex Jones is coming at four. <laughs> <laughs> I think the New Yorker in me though, because New York is so like, well, that's bullshit. Like mm-hmm. I, I just can't not say it. Where I'm mm-hmm. like, well, right. oh, yeah, I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah Al Franken said he was a comedian. We're like, just don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but you know who loved Terrence Howard? That guy who knocked you out. Oh. <laughs> that guy's a Terrence Howard fan, I guarantee you. This guy's speaking the gospel. Yeah, man, it's crazy. You can't even walk down the street without getting hit with a can of soup and punched in the face. That sucks that it's on your block, too. Yeah, my block. That's yeah. like in your hood. Like, you yeah. gotta get your hood back. Yeah. You're gonna see him again. Yeah, and beat his so ass. You should, just... become, you should become like a Clint Eastwood Gran Torino type. Yeah. <laughs> just like mur- muttering slurs. <laughs> Hold it, you befriend a young Filipino. So I got a question. Am I justified to either punch him in the face no, that's at, on crime. sight? No, that's a hate crime. If Can you I? do anything to him at all, oh! I'm going to protest. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, be, I'll take to the streets. I'll tell you what's even more racist if you pepper spray the wrong black guy. Don't <laughs> do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got to go gay. Because <laughs> what? Because yeah, then you would make it a hate gay. crime. No, that's you have, no gay <laughs> cops show up. Otherwise. Officers, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> but how's it going to look? Like people don't know the backstory. Right, right. just a guy in a Hawaiian shirt beating oh, so a black guy. Look at this. When I'm walking this guy down, no one's gonna believe Matt's gay. He's not fit enough. <laughs> look at the family crossover. I'm the crazy one. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, you want more, bitch? You yeah, want more? Yeah. yeah, yeah. The family's wow. like, what's this crazy white guy doing? What does your What does your wife say when you come home? Uh, she said, "Let's go get him." Whoa. Really? Yeah. You, you, you hand your son a gun. <laughs> She she handed me the baseball bat. She was like, "Let's Whoa. go get him." 
Whoa. baseball bat? Are you, you confident got, enough with insane. a baseball bat? Yeah. Wow. I know you played, but like, are you confident enough that? The... I have a technique. I've been working on it. Well, she's just happy she's not the one getting hit that. In the <laughs> <laughs> I know what goes on in that home. <laughs> Look at that walk. I mean, you're going full gorilla there. Yeah, I'm gorilla. Yeah. You bring out a baseball bat. Like if you swing and miss, you're in, you're in a problem. That's what I mean. I, w- yeah. I wouldn't trust myself with a baseball bat. Well, yeah. my technique is one of two things: knees, go for the knees. Because you're going to hit one of the two because you can't back away both knees. Yeah. Or straight judo chop right over the top. Like, bomb. You don't want to kill him. You have a murder. <laughs> I did what I did. How funny would that be <laughs> if Salakush went down for murder? Yeah, you would be a murderer. You <laughs> went just, to your house got a back. Jesus. That's not even self-defense. What is it? Uh, another Joan Rivers died. <laughs> that might have been. Was that Hicks? That was Joan. That was Joan? Yeah. That was like a ghost in the room. Well, we didn't want too many women up there. (laughs) So it worked out. If you're tired of having your dick stuck to your balls and your balls stuck to your leg or your leg stuck to your dick, it's time to try sheath underwear. It's incredible. They make underwear with two pouches. Put your dick in one pouch and your balls in the other. It's a total game changer whether you're working in the office or hitting the track on a sunny day. Look at this. You want a personal endorsement? I'm wearing this puppy right now. This is literally the only day I haven't worn it. I don't know why. I, I Laundry day, I wear it, I would say, six days a week. Yeah. I love it. You, sh- sh- send me more, Sheath. Yes. You, I love your undies. Go to sheathunderwear.com. Use code DRUNK. Get 20% off your first order plus Sheath Underwear's 100% money back guarantee. That sheathunderwear.com. Promo code DRUNK. Get Sheath Underwear. Support the show. Support your balls. Here, here. Dude, Joan Rivers, uh, everything I see of her just makes me like her more. Oh, Every clip best. that pops up, there's a clip she talked about. Um, did you see the clip where she talked about her husband dying and she t- committing suicide and she takes her daughter out? Yes. Have you seen this? Pull mm, this shit up. It's yeah. fucking beautiful. This is like why I love comedy, man. Like, she's Uh-oh. a fucking legend. Is it I, funny? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, it, oh it, it doesn't. It's not at first. I mean, it was a suicide, but it, she makes it funny. That's why she's such a fucking legend. Yeah, no, she was great. I mean, her. I can, I can do the short version of it. I mean, she basically builds up how brutal it is, you know, to lose your husband to suicide. And, and she's out with her daughter. At the, they're at this fancy restaurant. They both can't say a word. And she basically, they look at, she looks at the menu and she goes, oh, my God, the prices. He'd be glad he killed himself. <laughs> and she gets the first laugh out of the kid. Oh. And it's like, fuck, that's a beautiful thing that she yeah. had that. She had that ability. That's you know? great. She's she's just so cool. I don't know if you saw the doc on her. I love the doc. Oh no, we no no no. It, it was it, this might be it, but go, skip to the end because it's. I mean, I just told the joke. I mean, Seinfeld said the same. That everybody hates Seinfeld right now. He's having a tough month. But is he? Oh yeah, well, he's getting dragged online like crazy. That's but is but do but they what? hate him? I think he's got in some ways probably more fans than ever. Yeah, maybe. But he's getting a lot of shit. He's getting a lot of shit. Oh, and he's getting the genocide Jerry right, shit at right. the at the shows, whatever. Oh, but wow. he did that speech and like ten people walked out at a college mm-hmm. and the news grabbed that. All these people walk out on Jerry, whatever. Yeah. But the speech was actually really poignant, but no one talked about the speech because they just talked about the walkout. Right. Right. But he had a whole thing about like this uh, generation is very kind. You guys are all about compassion and all that. But you're not great laughers. So you got to learn to laugh at dark shit or you're going to have a long, fucked up, sad life. Yeah. And it's, it's like what you message. said. It's, it's a, a great, great message. message. Yeah. And it's also like that. What she said is like healing. Like she uh, and maybe it's because that generation went through more. Yeah. I mean, because I think it's like if you don't make it when you go through something that traumatic, like a husband committing suicide and you don't make a joke out of it, you're fucking finished. Yeah. And yeah, man. Comedy is like, I mean, I don't want to, you don't want to get too deep in it, but like a couple years ago when I lost my mom, I lost my mom to cancer. And I remember mm-hmm. like on her last days, we were in the hospital room and it was still some of the funniest things. That really? Happened. It was obviously the saddest thing, but like comedy still ensues. Like you still find a humor. Like at one point, one of my family members hired like a witch doctor to come in uh, to like, that was supposed to heal her. And he came in in like Crocs and like camel, <laughs> like camel. Shirt. And we were like, who the fuck is that? And the guy like, who attacks Salakus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They were like, oh, that's the guy. And he like looks at her and is like, she's going to be okay. And she like died like a couple hours later. Uh, but that was like, God. that was, she, if she were alive, she would think that was hilarious. Yeah. She would think like, that, this is Did you like, do a bit about ridiculous. that? No, I, don't, I haven't done a bit that about it. That is so but, fucking like, funny, But it was dude. so, like, it like till this day, like, you hold back, we were holding back tears just laughing at how yes. funny and ridiculous this was. And he got paid like $5,000. Wow. What? Yeah, who found by, like, this guy? By like a family member paid him like $5,000. What are you, Dominican? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that's where he got this guy. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, he was, I guess, in a way, he's like, this is my last dying thing to try to help. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 
It's funny, that's a gig to that guy. His agent was like, I got you a dead lady in yeah, Queens. Yeah, yeah. Literally, like, we walked into the room and he was, like, in the corner. Like, we were talking and we didn't notice that he- there was, like, a guy in, like, a rain jacket, cargo shorts and Crocs, like, in the corner. And he's, like, praying. And then we were, like, we, we, we figured it was, like, a guy cleaning the hospital room. And then we looked. We were, like, who the fuck is that? And then my sister's, like, oh, that's... It's like that's the the witch doctor uh, <laughs> that's here to heal. <laughs> and then he comes, and then he like comes over, and he's like, he like looks at her, and he's she's like, he's like, she's at like sixty percent now. That's what he said. Like she's at like sixty like percent. an iPhone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like she's at like sixty percent, and we. Like obviously, but we couldn't. We we, we want to die laughing. We also don't want to disrespect right, the guy. Right. And then he like does like three things, and he's like, "She's gonna be okay." <laughs> <laughs> it's like just do like three prayers and laugh, and made like five grand. Damn, yeah. Now who well, paid for that? Uh, <laughs> Uncle of mine. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm sure he gets his money up front because this guy. Yeah. Then he exactly call- before miracles. Then he called us like later on that night and was like. This is kind of crazy, but he called us later on that night and was like, the guy just called me and said he's he's in the cemetery praying, so she should be okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what wow. did he say? Did you hear anything when she passed away? Did he say anything? Yeah. He said you called me too late. Uh, did he do crowd work on her? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he, said, he said you had to, you, it was too late. She was already at like 60%. You got to call me like early. <laughs> I'm not even making this up. I know it sounds crazy. Did he do some voodoo was, shit and sprinkles stuff? It was so not like it. Because like I'm figuring like if you, if you pay me $5,000, I'm going to do those things. Like, yes. I might come with like a bottle. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll pour a bodega cat in the yes, corner. and something. like You know, I'll burn a candle. He didn't do any of that. What? Like he was just like. No showmanship. No showmanship. He Damn. was just like. And then just walked out. <laughs> That is hilarious. I'm so sorry about your mom. Yeah, no, of you course. You about her and said, you guys are really close. Yeah, yeah, we were super, super close. Yeah, no, but that was, I mean, if she were alive, the funny thing about that is like, if she were there, she would be like, what the fuck are you doing to him? Like, get the yes. fuck out of here. Like, she would just call it out. So it was so funny that she wasn't there to be able to be like, get the fuck out of here. Right, she right. Was, she was under, she was like not. Oh yeah, it was her last days. Like, she she died from cancer. She wasn't even speaking. She wasn't, ah, like, uh, yeah. you know, cancer's like, terrible it's brutal like when, when you like the last days but um but yeah it was so funny because it was her road to like call people out on their bullshit yeah. but i say all that to say it it made me like love comedy even more because i was like comedy just sleeps through us like through the cracks of the yes. door you can't keep it out like it's no, impossible yeah. you, you need it i'm sure in like times of war i'm sure those foxholes were hilarious right just the shit they have saying to. Yeah. It's the only way to cope. Right. That's what they say when they stop joking, like they're fucked. Yeah. yeah. What were, would you, are, are there any comedies that you remember or funny things you remember watching that you were like, oh, fuck, this like numb the pain a little? After? Yeah. Um. After, not so much. After for me, it was stand up. Like, yeah. and I don't want to get too deep in the stand up thing, but it kind of showed me that. A lot of times we try to downplay like the stuff we do, like, oh, we're just telling dick jokes or whatever. Yeah. We're just doing whatever. We're clowns or whatever. But in that moment, like I remember spending the whole day at the hospital with my mom and then like going to the cellar and doing spots. And it was like the only thing that would drag me out of that depression. And then also I realized that there was people in the audience that was going through the same thing and we were providing a service for them. Yeah. So stand up wise, it made me respect it more. Hell and it yeah. also made me not. It also made me more confident in the sense, like, you know how sometimes, like, you're on stage and it might be, like, Chappelle or Louis in the back and you're like, fuck, like, I want to do good Mm -hmm. or whatever. It made me be more confident of, like, I don't give a fuck who's in the back. Like, this is me. I do this. This is what I do. Like, I've been doing this. I put in the work. This is what I do. I'm on stage. It's my time. So it gave me that confidence. That's good. Yeah. It is weird about stand-up. You ever get the guy in the street, like, thank you for what you do, man. You got me through some tough times. And you're like, oh, I'm just telling jokes, you know, that's great. I'm not a fireman. Mm -hmm. But it does help. Help. It does help a ton. I've done. Like, I'm sure you have. You done like the the cancer benefits. And yes, stuff like yes, I've done those things where like literally like I bombed them. <laughs> yeah, I'm bombing one and going. What is this? The cancer benefit? And like, <laughs> yes. I'm like, oh yeah, fuck. <laughs> I've done one for like literally like a dying like 15 year old girl and then wow, did like on her last days and the parents coming up and being like, this is like thank you so much like wow. this is the darkest time of our lives we haven't laughed like this so i'm up there i'm like you think you're dying this is right <laughs> yeah i mean we do serve a purpose i, yeah. I know like it, it, it don't sound like it because we just you know write it in these bits but yeah no i know what you mean though those those uh those people fucking dealing with real shit yeah and uh i've had those people come up to you where they're like i, I, I could never do what you do and you're like what do you do they're like navy seal <laughs> yeah i think you could probably figure this yeah. out yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah but they say in times of tragedy the two things that go up are entertainment and booze oh really so we got yeah. both yeah yeah. <laughs> We're selling both, baby. yeah well that makes sense right that makes yeah sense. 
sometimes like uh you hear you ever hear like a comic doing a bit that's like so positive to them like it's not deprecating at all and you're like there's no funny uh, yeah, like it's just how that. successful and how much I pussy know, you get yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah or the comics are just like this guy sucks that sucks that's it's never they suck yeah everything yeah. else in the world is horrible but yeah them. I, d- I dated a, another crazy woman you're like sounds like a, there's a pattern here yeah <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah maybe yeah. you're not a catch either <laughs> right yeah that's that's uh, that one's about me by the way <laughs> <laughs> I look at it I, I find sometimes like when the funniest thing like when the like not the darkest but like the most awkward shit happened to me I'm like well this is gonna be a bit so it's okay like I had a, one time I had a girl try to like and she was upset whatever but she was trying to make fun of my like of me like sexually mm. and like she thought it would hurt my feelings and I was like this is honestly hilarious and I'm probably gonna tell this on stage to <laughs>, laughs the fact that you told me this and she kind of was like annoyed I was like I don't care like erectile dysfunction is hilarious if yeah it in a bit like I know getting totally. hard it's not funny yeah that's true <laughs> dude I have a it's literally the joke I use in the trailer of my of my uh special is a joke about my dick not working yeah and gold uh, and it's literally a joke I'm yeah. like I, I pulled out and I was like, I gotta write this down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had to. I like literally ruined. Like, she's like, how can this yes. get any worse for her? Yeah. How does my dick not work? I'm like, I thought of something funny. <laughs> that is great. You know, that's, that's like, gold. Comics shouldn't use blue chew. We need the material. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one wants to hear about how you fucked all night. <laughs> no. It's they not- want to hear about how it went south. <laughs> yeah. That- and you're right. Anytime something goes badly, it is potential for comedy yeah. because you bond through that shit. Yeah, I think comedians, if you if you do it that way, if you do it, which, you know, which if you build material that way, you kind of live life in a weird way where like bad shit happens and you're like, this is nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this thing. This is good. I know. Like, or, or you just think, how do I turn this into a bit? How do I set it up? Yeah, we're like, like getting yeah. punched in the face. I was like, I can't wait to get this videotape. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah, like a, like a Tim Dillon will have a Airbnb fiasco, and yeah. he has like he got like a year of material out of that. Yeah, you yeah. know, so we can yeah. we have a gift of we can horrible shit happens. Your mom yeah. dies. You're like, all right, I can talk about this. Yeah, I find that like when I when a, something happens to me, I don't know if you guys find this. The hardest part about the bit is like, what's my angle in, and then I can have the ho- and I and yes. then I can hash out the whole bit. Exactly. I feel the same way. You have way. to check the anger sometimes. For yeah, yeah. Like this- one of the first bits in, in the new special, it's like me missing a Connect flight. I missed a gig. I was yeah. It was literally the day my last special came out. I was yeah. in such a bad fucking mood. I was losing it at the gate. I, I felt the camera phone going up. I'm like, fuck, I'm about to be that. I'm about to go viral. Yeah. Not my special. <laughs> yeah. On the day a special is coming out. And Which I is like, great. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to like check myself. Like, yeah. all right, settle. I saw, had a few drinks in the next flight. And I was like, this is kind of funny. This, I'm taking me three flights to get to a gig I don't get to perform in. Yeah, yeah. You know? And I started like, right. I was like, this might be a bit. And then I did it there and it started working. I'm like, all right, you're on the right track. Just keep there going. There you go. Little, yeah. little dumb stuff going wrong in your life. It's, I, I have in my new, in my new, uh, the new hour I'm doing, I have this story about one time I went on a date with this girl and we got back to her place and her roommate's cat had passed away and she wanted me to like to remove the dead cat for her oh my god yeah and it's a a nice thing and it's a true story it's like the it's like hits the hardest in my whole act it's a true story but it happened like four years ago and i just didn't know the angle into it so i didn't know how to get into it and one day it just came to me like out of like some other material i'm like oh i can take it from there to here and then it was just like a five minute bit like that's the best yeah that's the best when you're doing that what do you do do you stash it away in like a word doc or something or like how do you do you keep an inventory or something um, I, I just have the stories. I find like since I started a podcast, just talking it out, like you bring something up and, I, and I'll just be like, oh, I have that story. Yeah. And then sometimes you hear a clip or and people will tell you like, oh, you got to do this on stage. Yeah. So you'll really start like a friend. Th- yeah. Yeah. They'll be like, you got to do this. On but once stage. somebody says you got to do this, I panic. You panic. The yeah. The pressure's on. Yeah. Like That's good. De- DeVito good. has that great joke where he's like. My mom's yeah, an I know ex, ex-mafia wife. Yeah. She's dating a blind black guy, and she, we live with our grandma, who's a hairstylist, and I've never felt more pressure to write a joke. Yeah, And, that, and he yeah. got a joke out of the trying to write a joke. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a, I always think about that joke, too. Um, but I, 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 like I was saying, it's just finding the entryway in it, because like, I'm like, on its own, this story is a funny story. Yeah. But how can I convey how I felt at the time right. to be funny? And then one day it just came to me, I'm like, because... Well, 
I, the angle I used to get into it, I'm like, women, it's funny to see what women consider masculine now. Like, uh, like now, I'm like, I think you ladies just label stuff masculine because y'all don't want to do it. So you want us to do it. <laughs> and then you just make us do dumb funny. shit that nobody should. And then I go into the cat story and everyone's like, yes, that is a perfect example yes. of the premise you just said. And isn't it funny? That sounds so natural, but you had to come up with it. No, it took, took me years. four years. Yes, yeah, exactly. That's four years for that are. one line that gave me like this five minute chunk of story. Be sometimes. Exactly. Some of my yeah. best shit took for, I remember there was a story about Leonard Cohen and Bob Dylan yeah. having dinner, drinks, whatever, and they're talking about like, uh, Leonard Cohen's like, oh, I love this song you wrote. Uh, it's one of my favorite songs you ever wrote. And he goes, oh, I wrote it in like 15 minutes. Yeah. And he's like, oh, geez. And he goes, I love that song, Hallelujah. And Leonard Cohen goes, took me five years. <laughs> yeah, yeah I've heard that. You know, it's like yeah. sometimes shit takes a while. Yeah. I know. And as comics, we're hard on ourselves. I'll go up at the cellar and I'll watch the comics before. I'm like, that's killer. That's better than anything I have. That's great. And I think they all just came up with it. It probably took them years. Yeah. You know, you, you the watch like a, make it conversational. They make, they make it make look it conversational. easy. Conversational, yeah. The sellers are the weird thing because I've been at the cellar now for like five years. And I remember like being like the new guy at the cellar where you just think you're like the shit because you're just like <laughs> doing your first yeah, hot just, 15 and just murdering. Yeah. And then once you transition into like a guy who's been there for a certain time, then the new guys yes. come in and they're murdering. And then you're like, oh, but you're doing your hot 15, <laughs> right? You got to do this like. Yeah. 15 times yes. you have to like turn it over and continue to do it so it kind of but i like i like that thing of like you kind of gotta you gotta do it though that's why it's like the major leagues you gotta exactly like, you got these uh the new guys coming in with their heat so you gotta yep. bring the heat you gotta stay on your toe you gotta work on new but yeah. also match their kill it's it's a whole dynamic yeah. there a lot of people like baseball in a lot of ways yeah yeah like, like seinfeld's got the great analogy about like the this the, the you know the the lineup of nine, and you sub in like, oh, this one's not pulling its weight anymore. You got to right, it right. That's it. Feels so much like baseball. Right, it is, and I think that you know you, a lot of people is like, oh, they don't like doing their new stuff at the cellar. Like you know, they feel the pressure, and I feel like I don't know a better room to do the Good new point. stuff. Like sold out, sold out, hot crowd. hot crowd. They're listening, and they don't know you a lot of the time. Right, like like just crushing for your crowd is one thing, but like I, I want to make sure this works. Universally, oh, yeah. Yeah. Universally yeah. yeah. Well, I think a lot of comics, you know, they they like when they consider working out new, they don't have a bit. They'll just have an idea. So they'll like go on stage and just say the idea a yeah, thousand yeah. times. Eventually they'll find it. But right. I'm more, I like to have it written. Like I like to have a bit. Yes. Like, it might not work, but this is a bit. It's a set for, you know, it has, I have the thing I could get out of it. Yeah. Some people are just like, hmm. Yeah, I know. I don't have the balls to do that. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't have the balls. Like, <laughs> this guy came out, he paid money, he's on yeah. the date. And I'm like, anything like, here? Mm. And Frank, man. Yeah. 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 And I, I, I see it. I'm like, man, that's courage. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> I know. Well, Mike Birbiglia said a thing, and now when I write, I think about it, it fucked me up. He goes, uh, when you're writing, you think, where would I laugh? Right. And you're like, because when you're writing, you're like, oh, this is funny. This is good. This will work. I'll try it up there. And then you're like, where would I actually laugh? And then it makes you go, nowhere. Nowhere. <laughs> this sucks. Right, right. You know, but I assume, oh, I'm a funny guy. I'm a comedian. I'll make it work. But right. But that's how all your shit should be. Like, if you write a screenplay, you're like, I, I want to make something that I would want to see. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Make, it, make it for you and then hope, if it's that personal, I think it will be... Uh, hopefully universal if you keep owning it. Yeah, yeah, Jim Jeffrey said that. He was like, they're like, well, how do you come up with material? He's like, I just write shit I'd want to hear. Yeah. And I was like, oh, wow, that's interesting. And yeah. he's like, but there's a slippery slope because some people just want to hear themselves that's wax true. poetically. That's true. Like, that's true. no funniness, just yes. pontificate about what's right and wrong about the that's world. A good point. Well, I, look, you got to be good. <laughs> you got to live yeah. right you, can't, you can't just be like self indulgent. It's It's got to be like for. I guess maybe like a, a combination, but it's like what I would want to see is in like, if it weren't about me and so, you know what I mean? Like, right. yeah, it just, yeah. it, not for me, but for me, if I was a, an audience member, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, yeah. for you, you get indulgent and it's like, you, yeah. we've all seen those comics and you're like, <laughs> where, where do you think this it's is crazy? Good? It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, there's an inherent self-indulgence to this art form though, yes that you need right like yeah. you you need to think that you not getting an erection is funny <laughs> and <laughs> right. like not something that no one gives a fuck about you need to think that yeah. but there's a thing of like but i want to make it palatable yes. i don't want to just say it like <laughs> there's a lot of comics you see who you know they just they have no problem just telling you about their day i know and they think uh, everything's an achievement they're like so i'm by 
And you're like, but that's, that's not an you're accomplishment. Like, that's yeah. not even, that's like straight. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's nothing like, now. Yeah. By the way, you think you're like, so I get to fuck everybody. Yeah. yeah. Like the Good fact you. that your mom died and you didn't make that your whole career is no, commendable. I've never, I've never done a bit about it. I've never. Done. Well, some people, I feel like they're, they're that grand- was funny right there what you said. Uh, yeah, yeah maybe, true. maybe. The witch maybe. doctor. But some people's grandma died and they're like, all right, this is my in. And I'm like, why is this your in? You should be born in your funeral, they're workshopping stuff. They're yeah. like, yeah, the casket, <laughs> yeah. a, a they casket were, like this. They got a long thing on Facebook. They just want the likes. I'm like, so you're trading your grandma's death for the likes. You're a sick fuck. I remember at the funeral, when this is when I was like, I got to pull out my notepad. At the funeral, one of my family members went up to make a speech and just went on like an anti-vax rant <laughs> <laughs> of like, do I know what, like he knew no one should get the vaccine. And this is like a perfect- ah! Well, example the boosters and, were killed let's be honest. <laughs> he was like he's never gonna get it and this is why <laughs> <laughs> how dare you use a fucking funeral for a platform I know, yeah, right. Right. and everyone was just looking at themselves like <laughs> <laughs> well you had terrence out at your funeral what do you expect <laughs> come on I love what Rich Voss said. At, I think it was at Patrice's funeral after his speech. He goes, I'll be selling CDs in the corner uh, here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that happened before. I saw um, Big J did a speech at Dave, uh, my my uh, manager who passed, Dave I Kimmel. saw that he crushed. He, he murdered. Murdered. Yeah, really? Murdered. Like, I have not seen. Even harder than Dave was murdered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he I actually have... got killed. That was one of the most tragic things. That was one of the most tragic things. It was one of the saddest funerals. He was yeah. like, 42 43 was like no there was nothing that could make you feel like this is part of life you know my mom passed from cancer in her 60s there's a part of it where you can be like this is a transition of life right you get older you get sick you pass away dave funeral was so young though so. it is but dave's funeral was not like that right mm. it was like this is a tragic thing that happened and it was just a sad sad funeral and big j went up and just murdered like start to yeah. finish like we were like clean we were like you got to set this send a set to fallon like this is, the, <laughs> this is the cleanest like just hilarious 20 minutes of just murdering like we left the funeral like like feeling like good like, no mention- crowd work at that one i was like <laughs> Yeah. Big no, J, DeRosa no mention too. of Asian pussy. No Asian wow, puss. Good for no. you, Jay. DeRosa crushed that one, too. Really? Yeah, he was great. Well, that hard thing is, like, you think DeRosa's annoying with shots in regular life. Try going to a funeral with Joe DeRosa. <laughs> You're trying to get around him. He's like, shot. You're like, all right, fuck him. Uh, Guess tomorrow's washed. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was, that was good. DeRosa. Yeah, that, that, like, I know we shit on COD, but it's a real thing. It's like a real thing that we do here you gotta yeah, use it yeah, yeah you gotta cope i mean and then it's just so cool we have such funny friends who can just go up and riff and kill we know yeah. some of the funniest people on the planet yeah that's that's pretty wild like because you know that just go, being funny at a funeral that's like no he didn't put out a notepad exactly kind of just going do you want that at your funeral just so no I, I i'm like norm, <laughs> norm had the joke where he's like there'll be time to for, for celebration but right now we're sad <laughs> <laughs> he had that great bit nah yeah i would why i don't care where do we where do we uh you know you you tell some stories and then you'd be funny i got like a whole witch doctor bit i want to do it here yeah no nah. i'd i'd i'd, I'd, <laughs> I'd tell, tell all the stories only tell my stories at my funeral if my wife is dead too <laughs> <laughs> don't tell the other ones well, it was a murder hear. suicide of course we can <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm poisoning her she's going down <laughs> just so you guys can tell some real stories I, can i give you a wreck by the way please i watched and uh, you might know this one uh i watched this movie i'd never seen it i fucking I bought it just on a whim. Someone told me it was great, and I was it wasn't streaming. I was like, "Fuck it, it's in Barnes and Noble." All that jazz. Oh yeah, like Mark's watching it right it? now. Yeah, it's great. Mark's right? watching it right now. Right? I'm halfway through. I haven't gotten to the ending yet. What do you, What do you think so far? I'm loving it. I'm it's loving in, it. It's a dark ass musical, but it's fucking amazing. You got to go to Barnes and Noble to get this. I I mean, you guys have that illegal streamer you guys use. That's it's where I'm somewhere you can it. find it. It's, there's, I'm sure there's. I think it's on Tubi or something. It's on Tubi. Oh. Yeah, Tubi's free, right? Yeah. yeah. It's fucking awesome. It's Roy Scheider from Jaws, and uh, it's really great. That guy it's Bob Fosse, who did like Cabaret and Pippin and, and all these music. Poonhound, drug addict. Poonhound, yeah. Alcohol. Mark's like he's like a gay guy. I'm like, no, he's like fucking all the dancers. It's yeah. like a crazy story, but uh, it's it's a fucking good movie, dude. So I was I just telling it. Mark at lunch. I was like, oh, Bob Fosse came up with all these moves for the movie um, The Little Prince. Hmm. So I think it's the early 70s or late 60s. It was He's a Spacey's pickup line, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Michael Jackson just straight ripped all these moves. Yeah. Um, can I show it to you? Sure. This is pretty crazy. 
knowing where Michael Jackson got his moves. The, the music that added later. But that, that's Fosse right there. Yeah. Wow. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, oh wow. this is the guy? Yeah. This is the guy. That Mike got his moves from? Yeah. Supposedly. And so they put a Michael Jackson song over it just so you can really get the feel. Oh, no. He ripped off more than the moves. He ripped off the age. <laughs> <laughs> is this confirmed that this came first before Mike? Oh, this is early 70s. Oh, okay. Damn. Oh, you can see it. Yeah, you can see it for sure. Damn. Wow. Black people stealing oh, moonwalking here, stuff. too. But are moves like bits? No, but, you know, you got to get that style from somewhere. Yeah. Oh, man, this is crazy. Yeah, this I had is... no idea. You just figure MJ is such a legend that you yeah, figure, oh, he's, groundbreaker. he must have thought of all this. But I always kind of figured it was a choreographer behind the moves. I didn't think he was making them up. Choreographer. I thought he yeah. made them. I thought MJ did it. Oh. Damn. This is crazy. Yeah, he's very, yeah, he's. No shit. Well, it's a good movie, man. Check out all this is the movie? No, no, it's oh. not the movie, but he's oh. fucking, he directed it. He's not in it. It's about him. It's about like a heart attack he had where he like contemplated life and he's like <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> that's but crazy my voice Scheider plays him he's fucking i mean such a such a good actor always good but like yeah the cast is sick the the music's sick it's awesome it's great it's fun yeah i'm not i'm not done with it yet but that was like tony woods and Chappelle right there <laughs> that's a deep cut that's a deep cut yeah what, what, what you got you guys got any wrecks i got a peeve you got a peeve the heroin thing. I've oh, the heroin thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a I got a wreck, though. But you please, can... please. Uh, I just started watching this yesterday. It's a new show on Apple TV. Uh, it got Jake. Uh, I don't know if you guys. Presumed oh, Innocent? Jake Presumed Innocent. I, have you guys Is done it good? Already? I'm into it. I'm like three episodes in. I, I'm into it. Apple's got some good shit. Apple, I think like all the shows on Apple are. They don't market them well, though. They don't. No. They don't. It's hard to find. Yeah, yeah, but, but it's a they're, good show. they're really good. Hard to find, like Sam Morell on the home screen, oh. on Amazon Prime Video. <laughs> they do like they they win like Emmys and stuff though. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. they would be hard to find. Presumed innocent, sick. It's good. I like it. Right. It's it's captivating. It's it's good. I watched a Tyler Perry movie, man. I <laughs> I can't help but like you watch it and I like immediately know what's happening. Yeah, like immediately. <laughs> it's not great. Yeah, it's moving up. You moved up, Sam. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That means just, people are watching. You're one swipe away rather than two. Ooh, baby. All right. Let's hustle. Dude. Right after Good. Patton Oswald. He's still beating you. <laughs> Damn. Some game show. I think this is great. I think have, being on, on multiple platforms is great. I think so, too. Let's see. Spread the love. Yeah, the spread effects. it out. The Gaffigan effect. Spread it out. All right, that's a good that's a good wreck. So I'm watching Presumed Innocent 2, and I realized something. Them. What's that? I'm only three. I'm not going to spoil them. anything. Yeah. Uh, I think there's only four episodes out anyway. But, Six. Oh, okay. I'm only on four. So what I realized is everyone on the show thinks he's guilty. The only one presuming he's innocent is us. For some reason, we're presuming he's innocent. Ooh, interesting. Oh, oh that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's interesting. All right. Yeah, I love a, I love a who did it murder show. Yeah. Uh, those are really interesting. That yeah. was a really good one of those. You ever see uh, R.I.P. Donald Sutherland, but uh, The Undoing, that was sick. No, I never saw The Undoing. On HBO. On HBO, yeah, that was good. Hugh Grant and Nicole Kidman. That was good. It was really good. Really? That was good. It was and, and it's, it's yeah, I won't say nothing, but it's good. I don't know The Undoing. Yeah. Oh, it's fucking solid. It's good. Mark, I thought you watched it. I think you did watch it. Uh, I thought we talked about it. Didn't ring you a had to watch this. This was like a thing during like really? COVID. I I'll, I'll go back. You don't remember this? Show? I don't find her attractive. What's wrong with me? Nicole Kidman? Am I gay? Why don't yes. I? Why am I not into her? She's but you're gay. Skinny as hell. She's got no curves. She looks like a. <laughs> she looks like she wouldn't be fun to hang out with. Is that what you look for in women? Yeah, what a fun lady. Pull up, pull up Nicole Kidman in to die for. You're out of your mind. No, the Undoing is good. All right, That's I'll check out the Undoing. Is it is it supernatural? No. Okay, good. I can't do that. No, she's hot, dude. Ah, she's hot there. She's all right, yeah. Come on, look at she's that. She's pretty. She's just not my cup. All right. Too skinny, too uh, too vanilla. <laughs> I like a little little weirdness in a face. There well, there's your there weirdness you right there. <laughs> Holy shit. You're on board, buddy? She was great in uh, Ghostbusters 2 in the painting. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was that guy? Vigo? Zool. Thank you, Zool, Matt. thank you. Um, 
All right, good Rex, good Rex. Presumed innocent. I'll check it out. I watched one, and it was it was heavy. Maybe too heavy. You just watch one up. Yeah. Yeah, it gets more. It gets more. Oh, geez. Apple's got some shit though. He but Apple's me, got some. He, shit. he turned me on to Manhunt. I love that. And I love good. Manhunt. That's the prison one. No, uh, uh, John Wilkes Booth. Oh no, yeah, I heard. I heard about that one. I gotta that watch was that good. one. Slow Horse is my favorite one on there though. That's like I the one I love. Which one is the one um, where he goes to prison and he has to get the? Oh to come yeah, yeah, that was good too. Blackbird. Blackbird. It was. Blackbird. It was good. It wasn't great. I don't Blackbird, Blackbird was good. Um. There's was, hijack, I think. There was a. Have that. you seen that one? That mm-hmm. one has. That one's not great, but it's entertaining. It's about a hijacked airplane. It's, I don't know if it's called hijack, but Idris Elba is the lead. Oh, host. I like him. Yeah. That's All like, right. That's cool. I, Man, he, that, when he was on Luther, that show was fucking cool. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. They went hard on that show. They might have like blew their wad a little early because they went so fucking hard. Yeah. But, but he's the yeah. man. Did you know him when he was the at security Carolines? at Carolines? No, but Artie Lang told me he used to sell him coke. He did. Oh, my God. <laughs> Idris did to him or he yeah. did him to Idris? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, apparently it was cool as fuck. He was, I also kept calling him Ildis. Yeah. And I was like, I'm not going to correct him. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Yeah, but he said he was the man. I, I've been watching. I mean, he was giving him drugs. He probably <laughs> liked them, but. I've been watching this series on Hulu. It's called like the dark side of the 2000s. Yeah. Ooh. And one of the episodes is, is, is actually a two episode part. It's about um like the shock jock era. <clears throat> On the radio? It's about, yeah, it's about Howard Stern and Opie and Anthony Ooh. and like the wars that they had. Oh, I'll watch the hell out yeah, of that. It's pretty interesting. There's two episodes on it. It's really good, though. Um, they talk about like the- Wait, What's this on? Uh, Hulu. This is on Vice TV. Yeah, I, I got it on Hulu. Oh, okay. Ima- crazy the way those two went. Like, yeah. Opie and Anthony is, you know, Kumia had his thing. Opie's, yeah. He's uh, doing whatever the fuck. Yeah. And then Howard Stern went like super progressive. It's crazy. How yeah. They, they talk worked. about all that. They talk. Some of the stuff Stern was doing, you, know, oh. like you kind of forget. You're like, wow. The like, blackface. The this would not, yeah, this would not fly at all. No. Mateo is, Mateo loves Howard Stern. He was telling me I had to listen to the Richard Simmons Howard Stern interview. Oh, uh, those are funny. I yeah. They're hilarious. I grew up on Stern. Yeah. I'm a huge fan. Yeah. yeah. Well, they talk about how they bring on Norton, like, to, like, because according to the documentary, Opie and Anthony were beefing, and they brought on Norton to be like the middle guy oh, on the show. A little buffer. Yeah. Interesting. Well, Norton was such that. a sniper back yeah. then. Oh, my God. Still. He's yeah, still, still a fucking is. sniper. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, he's great. great. I love Norton. Yeah. His new shit is fucking amazing. But trans stuff before anybody. Yeah, yeah. Norton's great. He's the uh, Jackie Robinson of, uh, <laughs> uh, mangled pussy. Except he's asking someone to spit on him. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Oh, there's Stern. Look at that. Mm-hmm. This is why you go uh you go super woke because you're like, all right, I gotta cover my ass here. Robin, just take it. It's a different time. It was a different time. Oh, dude, I, I got another fucking wreck, by the way. Reading a Lou Gehrig book. It's fucking incredible. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. called uh Fuck. Look up the most pop popular. It's fucking great. Is he's not the racist? That's Ty Cobb. Yeah, Ty yeah. Cobb was racist. He's the ice bucket challenge. Yeah, ALS. Yeah, ALS. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I meant. <laughs> so funny. This guy fucking died at thirty six. Everyone's like, "I'll pour some cold water <laughs> for it." That'll, that's I, did it. I did it. I did it. You would do it. You would do, you would do no. the challenge. Is it I luckiest it. man? Yeah, it's great. I love it. It's, it's, oh, I consider him well, the luckiest you know, man in the world today. When he it, retired, yeah, it's brutal, man. He, but he was. Uh, I mean, he. Uh, he was a fucking crusher. He crushed the ball, and he, uh, I mean, three of his siblings died. He was the only one that survived. It's, you just had a kid back then. You were like, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. But, uh, yeah, it's. I love it. It's excellent. And it's like those old Yankees books are fucking awesome. I just love those old baseball books. Oh, yeah. It's something like 170 RBIs when you're hitting after Babe Ruth. Yeah. So really? that's when Babe Ruth cleared the bases 60 times. By hitting a home run, still came through with oh, 170 Babe ribbies. Oh, was a fucking party animal, too. The Babe yeah, stories are so drunk. funny. Yeah, he was just like, always what? getting loaded. Yeah, just And he was, like, and, funny, and he was, yeah. like, an everyman, and he would fuck up, but everyone, like, loved him even more. Yeah. And he, uh, I mean, that's what they would do. They would just go out. They were, like, it was, like, an immigrant's game back then, like, really an immigrant's game. So they, they were, like, oh, this is for, like, you know, this is, like, really? you look down on it. But it became so popular because it was blue, a blue-collar sport. And uh, and Babe Ruth, like they'd go get fucked up after every game. Oh yeah, I think he yeah. ate, and try to just chase women. Yeah, he ate like three steaks a day, <laughs> a gallon of whiskey, cigars, and pussy. And back then, like there was like no such thing as condoms or anything. So no. every girl is just raw. Yep. And oh, I don't yeah. think they were pulling out. Probably no. Probably not. It'd be rude. Yeah, yeah, it'd be disrespectful, kind of. <laughs> so th- it makes you think, like, what are we doing now? No, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> we need to be. Well, back then, yeah, you got it was abortion. Less diseases, you think? 
I think there was less diseases, and I think uh, you could. There was no internet, so you could just be like, "Hey, whore, get away from me!" Oh, I don't know, dude. They, Babe Ruth died at like fifty. It was the greatest. Athlete. But he lived yeah. fast. He lived. Yeah. Hard. Well, dude, he he also uh, he had like mistresses. It was this whole thing. Like, he's like, I want to have a perfect year. I want to like not get injured. Maybe I'll drink a little less. Uh, hopefully, my wife doesn't catch my mistresses this year. That yeah. was like his his scouting report for the year. <laughs> fucking amazing. Yeah, it was a better time. Every time you hear stories like that, like you hear like Chamberlain, like, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, you're like, what? Well, this doesn't even sound like realistic. Like, I, I, I no Bluetooth, no nothing. <laughs> no. <laughs> but you know what? A hundred points in a game didn't sound realistic back then I, either. I Chamberlain was fucking. That, he was that type of guy. <laughs> It, yep. that was, you know the problem is it doesn't sound fun you're fucking that many no people. it doesn't sound fun like, no. it's like, at a certain point you come and now you're just hanging out with strangers every day yes yes yeah it's like yeah. Cat Williams with the 7,000 books it's too much <laughs> it's too you, much you can't keep that up yeah yeah but and he, he was like it wasn't like fairy tales it no like no astrophysicist <laughs> you'd, you'd think we'd bump into a woman who fucked Will Chamberlain by now like I'm sure I've met a woman at a grocery store who fucked Will Chamberlain like an old lady <laughs> just numbers wise statistically well it's not gonna come up Hey, can you pass the milk? By the way, have if you I had that him? story, if I, if I fucked him, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, "Can I get the bread?" By the way, I fucked Will Chamberlain. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a big one. Oh, I'm sure he was what, huge. What was your peeve, Mark? Oh, sorry, uh, I got two. I How about the, the one? The first one's annoying and weird. You're not gonna agree with it. Hmm. I don't like when the waitress or a waiter comes up and we got a. We got a bunch of stuff going on. I'm eating, and she comes up and she wants to give you a plate, but she has to hand it to you. Just put it on the table, right there. I don't. I don't. I. I, I can't do the handing off. Just put it on the table. Right. Yeah. All right. I knew everybody would hate that one. I don't hate it. It's just it's, a, it's not one that really bothers me. But, okay. But we're usually on exactly the same level, so I knew this next one's going to be a fucking. All right. How about this one? The guy where you tell him a story and they focus on the wrong point of the story. <laughs> you know, you go. Uh, so I was on Forty Fifth Street. I got punched in the face. <laughs> Uh, 45th and I think uh, six in Hell's Kitchen. They go, that's not Hell's Kitchen. I'm like, I got punched in the face. I was punched in the face. Let's focus on that. I knew the second one would be a winner. Right. He's back. I'm back. That's I, fucking hilarious. I think, focus on the wrong thing. I think I'm that guy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you I are think, that guy. I think I'm that guy. I'm like, Native New Yorker. <laughs> this story doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah. But the face punching is the the meat of it. Yeah. But we're all focused on what neighborhood I was in. That's like, you're like, no, that's Brian Park. You're like, yeah, oh. yeah. I what got punched the in the mouth. Well, my thing is people will be like, people will be like, the premise would be like, Hell's Kitchen is so dangerous. Uh, I was okay. in Hell's Kitchen. I got punched in the face. This guy came, and I'm like, that's not Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> yes, yes. That, that I get it. That, can that we get annoying. back to the face punching? Yeah, I, I see that's annoying. That's all I'm asking. Yeah, you're right. I'll I stop. can't believe this guy punched you in the face still. I, I honestly can. I mean, I, yeah, yeah, I guess the city's going down the toilet. <laughs> yeah, the city, that's like the a glasses. normal story. <laughs> yeah. You can believe that? Well, I remember like Joe List used to tell all these stories about like the kooks like after yeah, him. Yeah. And I thought he was like lying and exaggerating. Yeah. I chilled with him one time and the amount of like guys that were, we were in Vegas walking down. <laughs> yes. thing, and it was literally like walking dead, like following Joe. And I'm dying laughing. And, jo and Joe's like, you see, people think I'm lying. It's, it's like, like when mosquitoes <laughs> just go after one guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like like Joe's with, Joe with crackheads. Yeah. Yeah. No, and I've Joe's seen it with Joe like, too. You see? You see? Well, he's got the glasses, the forehead, the face. <laughs> they 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 flock to him like moths to a flame. <laughs> they really do. They really do. Yeah, he's not kidding. Poor guy. We, he's uh, moving out of the city, right? He says. He's been saying that. He says. But we were in New Orleans once. We were out at a brunch, and Andy Haynes was like, shut the fuck up with your kook shit. What are you, crazy? And we look out the window. as a guy getting stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> like right on Bourbon Street. And he's like, you see? And Andy's like, shut up. And he's like, what do I got to do to prove my point? The guy's bleeding out out of his stomach. I love, that, I love that scene in Harold and Kumar where they're like, hey man, they look out the window. Those guys kind of look like us and they just look at them and the two strangers start beating the shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> Such a great scene. That's an underrated That's comedy. an underrated, yeah. It's, that's a, it's a good that's one. That's a classic, yeah. I like that one. That, that, the go to White Castle? Yes. Yeah. They made two of them. Even Guantanamo Bay is okay. It's not bad. Yeah. I never caught that. I didn't the see cock it. meat sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I've had a cock meat sandwich? I didn't see <laughs> it. Yeah, that one's pretty funny. That's not the best sales pitch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's, I mean, it's a dumb comedy, but it's funny. What yeah, happened to good. those guys? One of the guys started working for Obama. One of them went gay? Yeah, it was in the fucking white. One's gay. I think the same one. Yeah, and worked for Obama. Gay. Cal Penn? Cal is gay, yeah. He's gay? Mm -hmm. One oh. Of them. And the Henry Cho? Yeah, he's a good actor. I want to say. He was in some really good indie movie called Columbus. He's, he's good. Mm. Henry Cho. And he was in Scar uh, Star Trek. Oh, was he? Yeah. Was he Spock? Or no, no. it was Hulu. Sulu? That's him? 
No, wrong guy. Yeah, wrong I'm like, guy. he's old. That's, wrong that's, that's guy. That's a comedian. He's like doing stand-up. Oh, no, yeah, that's got a comedian. Story. It's John show, not Henry. Maybe John. Henry Cho, he's like a Southern Asian guy. Really? Canadian. Yeah, he's There he is, Johnny Cho. Oh, handsome Johnny. Yeah, he's he good. Was, he was in a thriller, he's too. He was in like a, he's been in some good shit. Yeah, he's good. Asians are uh, hot like fuckable now. Yeah, no, Asians yeah. are in. <laughs> <laughs> like, when no, I was no. a kid, nobody dated an Asian. No, no white woman. Asians are in. And the rodents, the rodent men, have you heard this? No, easy. Yeah, like, that's... It, the, oh, rodent white men? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, rodent heard. white men. Oh, yeah. What does yeah, rodent yes. white men mean? Yeah, like, like, that's like the... It's like rodent men summer. Like, the guy from the bear. Men. There we go. Like, these are, this is, like, hot now. <laughs> rodent like men a, summer. When you go, like, an ant or, like, a... Like, like it's, a mouse. Like a mouse that's hot. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, uh, I'm looking Mark... forward to cockroach winter. <laughs> <laughs> Mark has a fun fact about the guy in the middle. Do I? You told me. Five the from the bear? No, it's uh, Gene Wilder's grandson. That's right. Oh, that is. You can see it on the face. No, he's wow. not. That's I, what Mark I, told I feel me. like something made up. Give it a goog. All right. Is that real? I don't know his name. Uh, Jeremy Allen White. He's I like believe. five seven. Yeah, that's what I like about Hollywood. It's like a lot of short guys win. And they really put you like yes. Because when they win, like everyone wins. Yes. Like, below them, like it's Kevin like a- Hart being like super popular and getting a ton of women helps me. Oh, exactly. Tom, him with Tom Cruise, yeah. Dustin Hoffman, yeah, yeah. Pacino. They're all tiny. Yeah, tiny. It's like fat chicks. Yeah, one uh, begets more. Yeah. Like when when the Kardashians started dating like black guys, that was real big for like oh, the yeah, community. That's true. Interesting. Yeah, it normalized it, and every girl wanted a black guy. Yeah, I mean, what's think her about face? that? But that, yeah, that, yeah, that's it's nice. Like, it's Kylie? not true. Ah, fuck. It looks like it's true. They but look. It's, they look. Like, it looked like his son. I know the hair, the eyes, the Brad nose. Face. Grandpa. Yeah. Nothing. No, not true. Damn. All right. Yeah, they took really a shot. Like yeah. But yeah, black guys, uh, what's her fit? Kyler was dating Tyga. That was nice, too. He's short, too. Is he? Yeah. Oh, wow. Short, it's like 5'5". Five, five. Damn, black and short? That's double strike. No, it's great. Like, they, it really normalized. Like, you walking through a red carpet and your girl's like five inches taller than you. Yeah. And, and the regular girls are like, oh, we can do it if Kylie's doing right. it. Right. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, big asses were not in. Yeah. I think they kind of changed the game on that. Big I think they're kind of out. I cool, think they're yeah. out now. I think they're out, too. Yeah, it's back to, like, super skinny. That's, like, back. Big asses are always welcome. I mean, in the 90s, it was, in like... In the 90s, it said, was boobs, right? If you said you got a fat ass to a girl, she was like, That's fuck so you. Yeah. <laughs> you ever watch... <laughs> I still like, feel like they're not thrilled. Ah, fat ass is a compliment now. <laughs> no, it is no. now. Big ass. Watch, watch like, nice a, ass. like, a not rap video from, like, the early 2000s. Yeah. The women, you're like, oh. these are girls that work at, like, Starbucks. It's not, like, what it is now. Yeah. It's just like girls with pretty faces. <laughs> Pull them up. <laughs> yeah, those old hip hop by the pool videos. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of normal looking just ladies. Just normal looking, attainable. Oh, these are girls are very Chingy. attractive. Yeah, but they're normal. They're not like, they don't have crazy bodies. Right. Now, who's this? Chingy? But don't you feel like, more, like you, you look around now, people are like crazy fit now. Good. Yeah. Let's get it back like, going. It, you ever see that doc? You know it's a really good doc? You ever see that one, Bigger, Stronger, Faster? No. About the people on steroids? It's really good, but it just like shows you how like over time, like the body, the male body type just changed. Like G.I. Joe type bodies in the 80s was like one thing. And then like pro wrestling changed. Now look at pro wrestlers. You're like, this dude's going to fucking die. Yeah. All jacked and, oh my yeah, God. They're yeah. too big. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you see yeah. the 50s, the guys in the, like the bodybuilders in the 50s, they're just solid. There's no definition. They're smooth. Yeah. Now they're like chiseled, 12 pack, tits, yeah. big, uh, big guns. Too much. Yeah. I find that like, what women want changed too like now dad bods are like hot like yeah women just want you to be like fat and ugly <laughs> who saw that come <laughs> <laughs> well, women are weird because they're like i like that you're fat because i feel hotter because yeah and that's like, so what? weird right yeah. like, i don't have that yeah i'm not like oh good you're in a wheelchair i feel <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, uh, I i had a girl tell me she was like a tiny petite look girl it was like that she dated a guy that was like 400 pounds she couldn't been more than 120 pounds. Yeah. And Crazy. she thought that was hot. <laughs> oh. Well, we're, I mean, we're lucky as men. No, that's I great. I did mentally challenge women because I want to feel smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's not bad. <laughs> we, we've had a few in this episode where I'm like, oh, these could come back to bite us. <laughs> oh. Which ones? I don't know. <laughs> dating a, men, a retarded woman. That's open-minded. It is open-minded. It's inclusive. And I hope you guys remember that in the comments. <laughs> she gives big head. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Well, that, we took it too far. She went downs on him. <laughs> <laughs> Woo.
Uh, Has anything you ever said here came back to him? No, no, I don't think so. No. It's all bullshit. There's too much. There's too, too much. much stuff out there. It, you know, they could easily do it, but yeah, yeah, it'd be a lot of work to find the right one. They'd yeah, like, damn, which one do we do? Yeah, if you blow up on something, then oh, you got to blow up on something. And I think people have caught on that sometimes it makes the person more powerful. Yes, so they're less. They're like, well, oh if we God. if we pull this out, he might just become more famous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she kind of just chill out. When Shane got SNL, finally got the hosting gig. Yeah. They TMZ put out a thing like, here's him saying. All oh, this yeah. shit and every I read every comment because I'm a psycho. Yeah, every comment was like, like it more now. Yeah, fan. I'm watching this week. Tune in. Here. Yes, <laughs> and can't wait like, to watch. Yeah, subscribe. We just say I like a person more. So it's just like, just shut the fuck yeah, yeah, up. Like, just true. don't. Like, just don't do that. It's your motives are so fucking obvious. I know. It's just, know. just don't post that. Exactly. It's just like you you want engagement, and I guess they don't. It's funny because like they they micromanage like whatever type of engagement we can get. But for them, they're just allowed to be the biggest fucking cockroaches. Totally. And every comment's bad. But for us, it's like, no, we try to be like somewhat careful what we like put in a stand up special, you know? Yeah. But, you know. That thing with, with when when that happened with Shane, it was funny because like it, it's so weird to see like online trolls when it comes to real life. Because Shane was the kind of person that like if you were trolling him and he saw you in real life, he would be like, what was that about? Yes. And then people would be like, I don't know, man. I was just yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. At least own it. Yeah, he would be like, "Why'd you say that?" And he'd just be like, "I'll just be like, no." Oh. Right, right. Because yeah. they got to put that out in the world. Yeah. Like, hey, I'm better. Yeah. I, remember, I saw him do it. I saw him do it a couple times. I saw him do it. Too. I saw him do it one time at the cellar where I was like, "All right, like he a real, he a real dude." Because I won't say who, but I, I I got off stage and Shane and Shane was waiting thing, and I'm like, "Oh, Shane, you up next?" And he was like, "Nah." Somebody was on stage and he was like, "We was going back and forth." On the internet, could just we'll believe it. Who was it? You'll believe it. Yeah, we'll believe it. All right. Oh wow! Oh yeah. yeah he yeah. was like, he was on stage. He was like, we've been going back and forth with the thing on thing, and I want to, and I'm working a club now, so I want to. He he didn't want beef, but he's like, I want to be like, hey, I know we've been beefing, but I work the club now, you know. Let's and I'm like, it. yeah, I was like, that's cool. Yeah, I was like, yo, he's a psychopath, <laughs> like. I go back. I'm like, do you want me to? Do you want me to stay with you? Like, I'll, I'll stay with you. And, and Shane was like, Nah, I'm cool. And I was like, I'm gonna just stay. Cause yeah, I, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna just stay. Cause if anything, I'm gonna just be like, Yo, you know, I'm I'm cool with both of y'all. Let's just like, you know, it's not here. But he got off stage. They saw each other, and it was like love. Like, like way to do it. Yeah. Oh no, nah, no! Nah, we just talking shit online. He's like, "Welcome to the club." Like, you good? Oh, you funny as hell. Oh, that. good. Yeah, and yeah I no. Like, he actually right, cool. Shane once texted me something like right after that happened. He was like, "I heard you were talking shit," and I was like, "I don't think so, but you're welcome to tell me where or whatever." And he and he mentioned it. And I said, "Oh, I'll give it a listen." I don't think I did, uh, but I I don't remember. But it doesn't sound like something I would say. You do so many fucking pods, and he he goes, "Listen, he goes, sorry, you didn't." I was. Uh, oh wow! Yeah. Do you think he had heard that from somebody else? I think people start shit. Yeah, that's so fucked. I tag him in it, but yeah. I was like, I didn't say shit. Yeah, I'm not. I, it's not. You're not idea. that guy. Yeah, no. Hannibal did that to me once. I was terrified. I said something about him on a pod. I opened for him somewhere, and a bunch of people were, "Hey, Mark Norman shitting on you on Twitter," and he was like, "Really?" And he texted me. He's like, "Are you shitting on me?" I was like, "No, I don't think so." He listened to it, and he texted back, "Just listened, all good." And I was like, "Jesus." Yeah, but it's scary. It's so crazy. Like you don't really even have to want to fight or get physical. If you just ask a person, yes. like they'll be like, "Oh no, nah, I'm sorry, <laughs> I didn't mean to do it." Well, enough with the public shit. Like I've I've had uh, interactions with comics where they've beat me up or fucked with me. And, I remember you call me after one of them, <laughs> and I would much rather that beat me up. You know, choke me out, whatever. Then, then make it some kind of public online thing. Public now, is so weird. It's weird, and, and just it's, and so it's like weird. high school. It's yeah. transparent. Yeah, totally. when yeah, it's it's transparent that you're number. using this for something. Yeah, that's what bugs me. I think like don't bring exactly. me into some fucking shit that you're trying to use. Exactly. Yeah. And comic on comic is also weird because it's like, yeah. even if you want to go public, all right, I said something that's offensive. It's like, but you've said stuff that's offensive. You just didn't exactly. say it publicly. Like, I exactly. know you have. You're a comic, right? Of We've course. been around comic. You say offensive jokes that if it got out, it'd be a problem for you. Right. And then you want to start sending them. A, Here's another offensive thing a comic said. Do you want to make that a thing? Yeah. Like, blow that up, too. Uh, at least be consistent. Yeah. There's people that say, get out. They get. Sorry. What was that? You know, you go. No, the, the people that get uh, like, it's like they're. Uh, they get off on posting, like this person sucks in tech. Yeah, and look, I've done it. I've done it with some people, like, not comics, but people. I've done it because I fucking hate. But you see comics do it, and you're just like, 
You guys like know each other, don't you? It's just weird. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. It's I'm like, I've, you're on the same lineup. <laughs> like, it's so, right. so weird. And then it's weird, like, oh, you just pick up on the one that's snowballing. That's the one you go with. Like, I can give you eight more examples, but have they're you, like, well, we're going with this one yeah. for some reason. Have like you a had, hashtag. When you had the thing with that guy, was it was it weird to see him at the clubs or no? Oh, yeah. Oh, super weird. Because I've had that too, where it's like super a weird. guy, I had a guy shit talking me. And he hid whenever I'd be at the cell. Oh. He hid, yeah. Like he ran? He just knew I'd be, and I didn't give a shit. I was kind of like, what's up, man? I'd see him and he'd be like, hey. And he'd be like awkward about it, but I was like, I don't give a shit. Well, that's yeah. your, the bigger man. Yeah. Good for but, you. But uh, he was shit talking to me. And I was like, yeah. all right. I'm that kind of person. I think that's like the New York too. Where I would be like, why, why'd you say that? Like, what? I just yeah. knew he was unhinged. I knew he was like a crazy guy. So oh, I was yeah. kind of like, this is what he does. Some people are like that where you're like, this person is just unhinged. Where yes. you're like, I'm not even, yeah, some people are It's like not like that. anything I could say would have gotten through to him. Like, hey, you shouldn't have done that. It, like, it wouldn't have registered. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, just yeah. be nice to him and yeah, make yeah. him more uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> it did. It yeah. made him more uncomfortable. Yeah, good. Let him squeam it, yeah. you know, be squeamish. But yeah. there's one guy, I'm not going to say his name, but he's shit on everybody in America. Say his name, we'll bleep it out. Yeah. Oh, and you're not gonna say his that, name. He'd like that. That's who my story was about. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. All right, well, bleep that. it. Oh, yeah. But he, I'll tell you a story about him too. He shit on me on a pod, and somebody sent it to me, and I listened, and I couldn't have cared less. I, I was just like, ah, you know. That's how I felt. Yeah, I and thought I it was kind of funny, and it was not weird at all. I was like, ah, I don't care, but it because it's him. You know, I'm like, he's like an ant. Like, yeah. ah, you're nobody. Get out of here. Well, yeah, I would yeah. cut that part out because now he's gonna come for us. Is All he right. still doing the thing? I uh, who the fuck? Knows? I went on his podcast one time. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was just like you kind of shoot the shit. Yeah. And immediately as I sat down, he just started going off like personal attacks on like <laughs> so many comics. And I and I was just like defending like literally people I didn't even know. Uh, I'm like, well, now nah, he's like a good person. <laughs> he's like, a, I'm, I'm yeah. like, this is terrible. Ah, uh, well, you hear that, Marin? <laughs> <laughs> WTF? Listen yeah. to listen to our episodes. No, I'm just kidding. It's not Marin. <laughs> The New York guy. We gotta get him. We gotta get Marin on here. Sure. We yeah. tried once. He never comes to New York. He came for a minute, and he did Don Lemon, and I oh, DM'd wow. him to come on, and he's like, "I'm leaving." He did Don Lemon. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. It, was, it was a while. <laughs> was on uh, this week. Who on was? his podcast? Who was on? Davros. Oh, a Marin. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. I, oh, I want to yeah, hear sorry. that actually. Oh. Yeah, that should be fun. Yeah. Yeah. But Don Lemon, I think. Does he have a pod? I think he's. I think he has done. a pod or something. I think he was at like he was at some kind. I think he was probably at Matt Rife's show. Like I, wow. he, he's at your show, dude. Oh, he went we to see. Oh with the yeah, Beacon. he came to my show. He yeah. Did? So Apparently. he's a fan of yours. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah, I saw him on the street. He lives in my neighborhood, and I saw him on the street, and he said he was he was he had a few in him, and he said what's up, and he said he likes the pod. Did he hit on you? No, he's with uh, his husband. What's the oh. hu is the husband hot? He was a good looking guy. Hey, yeah. I mean, he's a good looking guy. Yeah, yeah, he's a handsome dude. Yeah, Don Lamont. All right. How about that? Yeah. That's him? Oh, wow. wow. It's a tall white cup guy. of honky. Everybody loves the whites. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> it's, uh, P. Diddy's, uh, the girl he beat up is now married to a honky. Oh, Kathy. Yeah. He's like a billionaire, too. I think. Oh, is he? I think is so. He? Damn. I don't, I don't have to be wrong. Kind of nice to date a girl who's been beat up because you're like, hey, hey. <laughs> Jesus. Don't act up. You know what could happen. Exactly. I'll I go would, to the I Hyatt. Remember, I had kids and I were oh, roommates boy. in college, and they adopted a dog that was previously beaten by the owner, and it was horrible, but you never had to tell that dog anything twice. It was there crazy. you go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Especially if you put a towel on. Don't make me put a towel on. <laughs> They're jokes. They're jokes, guys. In the hallway. Someone's going to be upset. Uh, don't hit your, your partner. Don't hit your partner, unless you're gay. Yeah. Then it's, <laughs> then uh, it's, it's a fair fight. Fair game. There you go. That's a, a what? Was that that was an old bit of yours? No, that's I think it's a Dan Bolger bit. I think it was a you bit. No, mine was uh, I had an old bit about <laughs> two homeless people sleeping together on the street, and and it was like, oh man, this guy has a girlfriend and I don't. Uh, and I was I was like, uh, I hope he doesn't hit her because that's not domestic violence if you don't have a home. That's a street fight. Oh, you're right. An old that was an old Sam bit. You're right. Very old. Maybe it's a bull. When did you come up with the theme for this? Like, I'm going to go suit and go you've changed. Oh. I like I like Nate Bargatze pushed me to do a suit. He yeah. was like, you're like a New York kid. It'll be cool to rock a suit. Yeah, I think and it's he's really like, cool. it's a more mature special. Like, you, you're going to drop some money on the set. Like, m make it big. And I was like, okay. And uh, so he definitely pushed me to do it. And then, uh, yeah, it just felt like a suit special. Like, the, we kind of went like a noir type back alley it felt like an old detective movie or something so yeah. I was like, all right let's fucking let's make it look cool and uh 
I don't know, it felt cool. It felt, uh, it I, 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 I rocked the suit in Vegas before, so I was like, let me make sure this doesn't feel weird. But I was like, yeah, it felt kind of, it felt right with right. the material too. So yeah, well, I opened for Louis uh, 2017, where he wore a suit. Yeah, which was weird. he was the black T-shirt guy. Great mm-hmm. special. Great special, but never again. He never did a suit again. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's Maybe back. Maybe he will. Maybe he will. Yeah, he's back doing sets. Yeah, he's back. I saw him at New Jokes. Yeah, I thought. I thought. I. You know, obviously, you. You know, the jokes are gonna be good they're gonna be the jokes but a good theme is also nice like you know yeah i mean that's the last thing you think of right you got to make sure the hours it is it is thing, but like at the end you're like all right let me stop being a baby like i've done the minimalist type specials before i've done the like you know let me let me save every penny type special mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but you know i they gave me money that they wanted me to spend on it, it looking good. it looks great so yeah, yeah. So that was that was a and you did it in wilbur yeah, we did four shows at the Wilbur. Yeah, that's it amazing. Was like, uh, they were all great crowds, yeah. honestly. Like Thursday, we probably got it, but the two Friday were just way better. They were just yeah. real. They were just on another level. I opened for a style at the Wilbur for like a, a couple nights, and I was like, "Oh, this place is amazing." Oh, one, one of, of the best. best, one of the best the rooms country. in comedy. And you just did the other one in, in Boston. I've been to the Schubert. I did two at the Schubert, and I was like, "Ah, I hate to leave the Wilbur, but it was great. It was great." Boston's just a fucking great comedy. It is. Man. Yeah, it's just hard to be for comedy. It's like. There's something. It's like a combination of like smart and blue collar. Yes, they're yes. like they're kind of like witty. They're ball busters. There's like a nice. There's something about Boston. I don't know. They're yeah. like because I don't laugh Boston a bunch, of, and they're great. Like it's I'm great. Like, yeah, but the acoustics are tough. It's a great yeah. club. Yeah, it's, it's a fun weekend. But it's like it's like high ceilings and shit. Yeah. Like you don't want to shoot something in a high stage. Yeah, no, you obviously want. But yeah, I love that. I met that club a million times. I love that club. Yeah, and they're, they're funny in Boston, so you kind of have to step it up. Like I noticed, I do crowd work or Q and A, and their questions were funny. Yeah, and you kind of makes you like, oh shit. I got to be oh, funnier than you. I'm the professional. Right, but they're funny. I did a uh, Ireland, same shit. Similar Ire- Ireland and Boston, yeah, where they're funny as hell. Dublin? Dublin. So, yeah. such a funny crowd. They're great crowds, but the crowd work is hilarious. I got Dublin and Belfast in, in September. I'm pumped, man. Are you doing Vicker Street? I don't know. You have to You have to tell me at the Pronounce end. Pronounce Vicker. <laughs> <laughs> great room. I heard it's great. That's uh, that's like the cool shit when you go overseas. Oh, Jokes yeah. Jokes bring you overseas. That's super cool. Hey, that's have, you, have you done it yet or no? But, nah, I did. Uh, I've, I've done a couple. I did. I went to. Uh, I just did Abu Dhabi. I did the Abu Dhabi comedy Whoa. festival. That was Damn. fun. That was cool as hell. Um, I was there with uh, Tony Woods and Will Sylvance and uh, Andrew Schultz. He headlined. He did the arena and nice. Chappelle did the arena. That was a lot of fun. Wow. And I've done London and I've done. London's uh, great. After, I went to Kenya. I did the. I did wow, the, that was, really cool too. was that great? Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah, that that was a lot of fun. That's great when you go international and the joke. Everyone's like, oh, well, the, after you do one, you're like, oh yeah, the jokes just you know, they people get it. Yeah, people get it. Right? What about it? You did Israel. I did Israel too. Wow. Was, uh, yeah, we bleep that out. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was great. That was great. I yeah, did. Yeah. I did seven cities there. It was whoa. Like, it was great. Damn. Like like especially when you're not like when you're something different, you just make fun of the thing. Whatever it is, right? Like the outcast just making fun of the thing. It's yeah. just like it was amazing. Yeah, I did uh, Berlin. It's just all Holocaust. Yeah. And they they ate it up. Yeah, <laughs> they love it. <laughs> I mean, it's the it, elephant in the room. You got to do it. I yeah. mean, Israel. I'm sure Palestine, uh, Netanyahu. Yeah, well, they told you not to talk about that, but it, but it was like a lot of like New York Jewish transplants. Mm. That, that so it was great. I mean, they just got everything. They just got yeah. like all the things you're talking about. Are you guys working on any bits? Uh oh. I don't have good shit. We did it. Mark and I've been doing it like off the pod lately. Uh huh. So we like, I feel like it's like not natural. I can check if I have anything. Yeah, anything share good? with us. I got nothing. I got nothing. Ah, Ian. You might have set us yeah, up I'm, for failure. I have nothing, but, what it the may, fuck? May, but it may be something. Like it's nothing theoretically. All right. That's what we're doing here. Yeah. Working yeah. On um, well, I, I want to. Again, it's just, just like a story I have where I don't know how to, how to, I don't know the angle into it, but I want to, uh, I have a bit that I'm working on where I'm talking about like, I'm now like, I'm, I'm about to be in my mid thirties and I'm at the point where I want all of my friends to be married. I don't want them to be single because I'm single and my single friends still expect me to be their wingman. <laughs> and as you get older, getting, becoming a wingman is harder because your lies get bigger. Right. right. When, when you're young, you you just lie like, you know, yeah, like he's a good he's a good cook. When you're older, you got to be like, yeah, he's a good father. He does care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so that's basically the angle. And, I, and then I want to tell a story about uh, like times where I've seen wing, like when you you ever seen a wingman like have to wingman, but he get into a fight 
with the, the girl he's supposed to like, like uh, take like a wingman versus a cock blocker like when they get into it like in a in a thing right um i have a story where that happened where they almost ended up fighting where he, oh, wow. <laughs> where like a boy of mine was supposed to like be a wingman yeah. and for they, you yeah and they almost got into like a fist fight <laughs> with like the girl and i'm like this is so the opposite but i just don't know the angle uh to yeah you have it. to pause to be like all right he's not a good father <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> or something like that yeah maybe there's something too he's such a bad wingman that you look great like he's fighting okay. with this girl and she's like, fuck this guy. I'll talk to you. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe that's good. Yeah, he's so like violent. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like I would never hit a woman. She's like, all right, I'll take you <laughs> yeah, then. He's just so I had a friend's, I had a friend's dad who had passed away who was like that growing up. I remember we were, we were in a bar and uh, he would like take us to bars when we were underage. He was like the fun dad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shocker, Probably. he's not with us anymore. Yeah. But uh, he, was, <laughs> he was hilarious. He was like, uh, he would get us drunk. We went to a bar once. And he just walks up to this like hot. We were kids. We we're probably like twenty. Walked up to this hot fucking uh, woman in the bar, and he goes, "Lady, what I would give to fuck you up the ass." Like, Jesus <laughs> yeah. Christ! Yeah, what yeah, is he yeah, doing? Yeah. And we we're like, "What the hell?" And I'm like, "Miss, I'm so sorry." And she goes, "Well, finally, a gentleman." I was like, "I guess I guess we're using that word loosely now." There you go. But I ended up yeah, I ended up go. getting That's... blown by her. Because, yeah. Oh, really? But, and really? It, yeah, we're talking, and he's like, "Give me a thumbs up." Behind him. Like he knew what he was doing. Wow. Like, yeah. Well, that's I get, I think that's the bit. <laughs> that's the Something like that, like the be, the shitty wingman. Yeah, because I because I had a similar story where the guy where like a friend of mine was like like he was something like he said something along the lines like I'd love to like have unprotected sex with you like I wouldn't use a condom <laughs> with you like first line and she was like what the fuck and wow and then you're just sitting there like. I'd use a condom with you. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's what yeah. Finally, so a I gentleman. Would, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I take you to dinner first. Like, oh my God, who is this guy? Yeah. All right, that's not bad. We got yeah. something. There's I got so nothing, dude. Bad people. Like when I was on Tinder and all that. There's yeah. so many bad, like shitty, boring guys. And if yeah. you were like somewhat funny or anything, you'd get laid. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, okay. you just you're, you you got something there. Just the. Uh, He's so bad, you're good. Yeah. You know what I found? I remember you told me this like a while ago when I was like still open for you. You, you. you said that like, I think you said you had a conversation with Burr that he was like, he told you something along the lines like when you go to stories, like the people kind of just fuck with you a little more. Mm, and yeah. I, I've, I've like, found that like with this new hour that i'm doing i've kind of went more to like telling like i don't i'm not going to tell long drawn out stories like a quick punchy stories but like there are a lot of stories and it just feels like the connection is, yes is tighter like something yeah. about a story it a really story, brings like, people yeah. into you yeah it does. they remember yeah, it the story the bit i get like reference the most is like the white the white night. really of it's like yeah yeah that, that's what people people like, love stories in a weird way when you put yourself in the audience shoes because sometimes i'll do that like i just did the cleveland i did the cleveland uh funny bone and uh costa was at hilarious so after i went to watch costa just to be like let me just be an audience member and see like an hour i love hilarity yeah and the hilarity is fucking amazing great club but you you kind of uh, you kind of see where you're like oh yeah like even though you came to laugh like a good story that has laughs and is really interesting that's like great i know better in a way it's like, better and it brings you in yeah, you're on the edge of your you seat in. there's a big ending it's like a movie yeah you're like a movie that's funny and like has all the, in the things. moment yeah, yeah people great. relate it to their lives yeah like, oh i've had a similar thing and yeah they feel more connected right yeah nah i don't have any stories. i got nothing good right yeah I, all my shit's either like long or just fucking it's either there or nothing i have like nothing in between we had a we had a session the other night though we haven't Pretty done good it in a sesh. while i got a lot out of that same though. same i got uh, all right, I got one. Yeah. Tell me if I've done this before. Yeah. The pizza bit. So I was hanging out with my buddy, and uh, I was like, you want to get dinner? And he's like, yeah, sure. And I go, you want to get pizza? And he goes, I had pizza last night. I'm like, yeah, but you love pizza. And he's like, I don't know. I know, but I don't want to eat it every night. And I said, well, don't get married, because that's what marriage is, you yeah. know? And I'm like, when you get married, you eat pizza every night, but you got to make it interesting. You're like, tonight I'll eat it from behind. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Maybe I'll pay a guy to... Eat my pizza and I'll watch. <laughs> so then then you, got a couple, you got a couple. You got a couple. That's lines good. There. That's good. And then, have you done it? I've tried it, but it's it's shaky. And, yeah. And I'm like, and look, I get it from her angle too. She's got to fuck this this thin crust. She probably wants a deep dish every night. <laughs> oh, that's that's good. good. So we'll Did try. That it. hit. That's good. That's new. That that's I just funny. Wrote. Okay, I'll try it. It felt too A to B. Like it felt a little too like mm. a comparison uh, analogy. Something about a delivery boy. It might be funny working a delivery boy. Oh yeah. You know, or like uh, watching people make pizza, like yeah. Food Network porn. 
Uh, <laughs> the thin crust deep dish, that's a big lie. It's also tough because I'm in New York and there's just so much great pizza. I know. Oh, that's tell me about it. That's a good line. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. I'll try it tonight. Yeah. We'll see what happens. I that's think you, good. I think you got something, something with the, the bad wingman. The that's bad wingman? Yeah. Good. All right. I'll I'll work on it. Is this something I don't know if I I've told might have told you this. I don't remember, but like I have a thing about like how as an adult, like uh when you're young, every drug you take, you're trying to extend the night. Yeah. Mm. And then you get older and every drug is like, whatever will make it tomorrow. Yeah. That's good. You know what I mean? Like I don't want I, it to be I'm full of my whole thing is full of drugs that will get me till tomorrow. Exactly. I have like little like powders and like, yeah. this will knock me out. Yeah. Ambien. Like I don't do anything that want like extending the night is like a sign of hope. It isn't the bit I'm just talking about. It's like a sign of hope. That's why like when you're an adult in like your thirties or forties doing coke, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. You know, like I don't need more ideas I'm not gonna follow through on. Right. Yeah. yeah. Coke versus melatonin is very real. Yeah. Or Coke versus Ambien. This That's is how little I party at this point. I mean, I drink, but this is how little I party. That was a line I did in a bit. I still drink, but now it's like a scotch during a Hitler doc. I'm not like going out, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know, I, like, I, I'll, I'll take melatonin. And I'll be like, don't take that shit. I'll give you bad dreams. Like that's how little I fucking oh, party. Oh wow! That, that's lit. Yeah. I I stopped taking it because of the nightmares. Right. That's why exactly. Yeah. Nightmares. Whoa. Nightmares. Yeah. Not just vivid dreams, like scary dreams. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Whoa. Nightmares. Same. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? It can be yeah. weird. It's like I knew I was a dreaming, but it was weird. It's weird, especially if you're sleeping next to somebody. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, it's weird. I didn't know. I started doing the that. edibles. Really? Started, yeah. Whoa. But there's something to that, I think, of, like, there extending is. the night and, like, uh, it needs more. But there's something about, like, uh, young people, you, like, you make, I think the other thing is, like, one of the reasons I don't do coke is, like, I don't want to be more aware of my decisions. Like, mm. young people, it's, like, 2 a.m., you're doing blow and shit, 4 a.m., it's, like, I don't want to be, I don't want heightened awareness for whatever bad shit I'm about to do. Sure. You know? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'll play with it. Adderall. I'll, I'll, Adderall, that's true. Adderall's adult cocaine. Yeah. Because you do it during the day. Right, right. There's some, all right, I'll play with it. Yeah, that yeah. Adderall I'll, I got, I got spots tonight. I'll, get, I'll, I'll, see, I'll see you guys at the cellar tonight. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing 930. I think, yeah, I think there's, I think that's, I think that could be big. Something there. Right. Well, where are you going to be coming up? You got any road gigs? Didn't you have uh, an HBO thing? Yeah, well, I had it two years ago. Ah, uh, I thought you had a new one. <laughs> nah. Your I, Joke I, World was talking about you. Who's Joke World? You know, on YouTube. Oh, really? Uh, the what, comedy when's the guy? New, when are you going to record a new one, you think? Probably this fall. Oh, all right. Your comedy fest, probably. Nice. Do, yeah. do you have an, any idea where you're going to shoot it? Probably Gramercy. That's cool. Oh, I like Let's Gramercy. talk about it. Okay. Let's talk For about sure. it. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Gramercy is cool, but I mean, I feel like a lot of people shot everyone. Gramercy. Everyone. Yeah. But I, I, I wanted Sony Hall, but everyone, there's four, five special shot there this year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Rachel, Keith, everyone, right? Brad Jessica, Williams. Jessica. Brad Williams. Michelle Buteau. Damn! Yeah, don't do it yeah, there. I know. Although you can make anything, you can make anything good. yours. Yeah. True. You can make anything yours. Oh, nice! Um, I love zanies. Yeah, I'm doing zanies. When does this come out? Oh, oh okay, right it's here. over. There you go. To Chicago. Ooh, the twenty first. Yeah, sorry. Where in Chicago is he? All right, I'm at zanies. It happened oh, yesterday. Right. Yeah. No, it's next weekend. Oh, I know, but when this comes out, it'll oh, happen oh, yesterday. Okay, so I'm at the. Um, I'm in Milwaukee, August eighth through the tenth at the Milwaukee Improv. Oh nice! I'm in uh at, at Levity Live August 30th to the first, and uh I'm in New Orleans on the 23rd hey, to the 24th. Hey, now we're doing talking. some pop up, yeah. But all my all my things are on uh, Tampa, Ian Tampa. Com. Oh yeah, I'm doing side splitters. I'm looking forward to That's that. That's a great That's one. Great room. The DC Improv, my Woo! favorite club in the whole country. Another great room. Never been yeah. there. Never worked there. What? Yeah. Punchline Sacramento. Yeah, I got a lot of good, a lot great of good clubs coming up. That's a great room. A lot That's of good clubs. Box, That's Tempe a great Tempe Improv. Club. Yeah. Boy, good, right on college good, campus. good bookings. Dude. Yeah. I just went to CAA, so. Hey! Yeah. Tell Justin I said hello. We'll see. All right. Is he your agent, Justin? No. It's oh. Matt. Uh, oh. Schultz, you know oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's the B guy. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> Still CAA. I mean, okay. <laughs> You're doing fine. Yeah. Uh, Mark Rockford. Rockford, Illinois, wherever that is. Rochester, Minnesota, wherever that is. As, as David <laughs> Tell would say, I'm doing the Connecting Flights Tour. <laughs> doing a one nighter in Hampton, in the Hamptons, uh, Richmond, Virginia, Queens, Greensboro, North Carolina, Anaheim, Thousand Oaks, Reading, PA, Red Bank, New Jersey, Colorado Springs, Fort Collins. Oh, you're doing Fort Collins, nice. St. Louis, Missouri, Atlanta, Georgia, Orlando, Florida, and Fort Lauderdale. Come on out, say hello, and uh, queef it up. Get a bottle of Bodega Cat, and uh, check us out on Punch Up. What do you got, fatty? 
Uh, uh, I, I'm in Hammond, Indiana with Chrissy D and Nemesh. We're doing a little three person uh, one nighter at a casino. Wee. I'm in uh, the Miami Improv August 1st through 3rd. I am at the, uh, I'm going to do another casino with those two in Prior Lake, Minnesota, August 10th. And then I've got Magoobies and uh, right outside Baltimore, August 15th and 17th. Yeah. And then I got um, uh, the Stress Factory in Jersey the following weekend. And then uh, I'm doing a nice little Euro tour. We got London. We got, uh, oh, nice. I got Ontario before that, too. London. But we got uh, Belfast, Belfast, Dublin, Dublin Paris, Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Yeah. Amsterdam. Uh, Added a second show in Amsterdam, baby. That Woo! first one sold out. Copenhagen, Oslo, and Stockholm. Tickets still available. Get on hey. that shit. Punchup.live slash Samurai for tickets or just Samurai.com for tickets. Follow us on punchup.live slash our names. Get bodegatwhiskey.com. Please watch the new special on Amazon. Yes, you've, you've changed. changed. Hope, you've hope you changed. like it. And, and speaking uh, of punch up, Mark and I have a doc called Page to Stage on there that you there can get. You it's a fifteen minute doc about Mark trying to write one joke. Oh yeah. Don't Not I my best. It. <laughs> Got nothing on that pizza bit that <laughs> I just did. Well, uh yeah, follow uh Ian Laurie, he's hilarious. Follow everything he does. Uh-oh. And uh <laughs> Oh. oh, you hate to see that. Thank well, you, man. I appreciate it. Well, this is this is one of those podcasts that I do, and I go on the road, and people like were like, oh, I heard you on. All right. Oh, good, good. Hell yeah. Appreciate Love it, man. Well, uh, thanks for listening, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Comedy. Sunday's the day for my next fender. A bit of Pivarek, you know the beer juice close. I've had a little too much bourbon, and Norman's talking shit about the fucking punk. Like I remember